What's going on, guys? Welcome to episode 63 of the Taste Cast, our weekly podcast where we talk about things, react to things, do a bunch of random shit. My name's Seth. I'm Chevy. And I'm Chris. And uh, Cody is back. He hasn't been on in a while. And uh, yeah, welcome back. What's feels, up, dude? Feels good. Feels good. Feels real good. Feels fucking real good. Also, what feels real good is you joining our Discord. Links down below. Hit that link. Come talk to us whenever the hell you want to. Post whatever the hell you want to within reason. But I mean, we're all fucking degenerate so oh, um and uh and yeah we're also on itunes and a bunch of other things you can find us pressure on everything you're listening to uh podcasts on so make sure to listen to us if you want to and if you're listening to us on itunes uh check us out on youtube tasty loot gaming uh yeah so with every taste cast we typically start bleh, we typically start <laughs> with what we've been playing uh so let's get into it cody you're back let's start with you uh monster hunter actually uh, we were kind of talking about it a little bit, but I'm still hooked. Uh, I think I'm about 50, uh, 100 rank 50. Nice. Uh, and yeah, it's just, just the ever, you know, long quest to, oh, to yeah. get good gear. So, or switch it up. It, there's so much things that you can do with it. Just kind of tweak this, tweak this. Oh, yeah. and just, mm. So that's super addicting to me. That and uh, I actually... Uh, starting to play the uh, remake of Resident Evil again. I've played it like twice already, but Resident Evil Watch. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah the original. Um, I forgot to say something real quick. Yeah. Uh, play Portal Knights and play mm. uh, Beyond mm. Two Souls and Rayman. Uh, offered for free on PlayStation Plus. Come back in the month for Plus Club and Game of the Month. We'll talk about those then. I did okay. start playing Rayman actually. Okay. And I had a, actually <laughs> it was the first game I bought uh, on uh, Vita. Mm. Um, uh, when I first got it, and uh, it's great. It's yeah. amazing. So I never yeah, yeah. played it on the console. I didn't even know they ported it, but or not ported it, but I think they... Released it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there was there was Origins, and then oh, Legends right. is, the, is the new one okay. right now, or the one that's out. Origins. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, we have to reserve what we're going to say about it, but sure, you're, sure. you're enjoying it? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's good. Yeah. It's a pl- well, Cody, Cody has expressed interest in being on the show more often. So oh. No. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Cody. The, the crackle really fucking added to that. You're fucking, no. Too fucking bad. I'm going to be here. So, no. um, yeah, dude. I mean, if, if, if you want to, you just unplug the laptop and I'm going to listen to him. <laughs> I'm, I'm here. Like, Shut up. I'm, I'm taking Chris's spot. <laughs> I'm taking over. I'm um, growing the ponytail now. <laughs> it's my turn. Yep. Um, yeah, Monster Hunter. I need to jump back into that. I say that all the time, but uh, but knowing that you're 50, I'm just like fuck. Okay, because I'm 49. I, I'm still locked out from 50 because I never did the Colts back uh, in six days. Yeah, yeah, and I need to do that. So um, there's a lot of reasons to um, get back into that. I know on my stream last night, I was talking with uh, a couple of you dudes, and fucking uh, Jeremy was saying that he'd like to see um, like DLC come out for it. Like obviously they're doing updates, which I think they're doing an awesome job. But like, um, I kind I kind of feel on that. Like you know, it'd be cool to see some like new chunk of like maybe like old monsters or like a new area or some. I don't think I want to encourage DLC. I think yeah. I want to encourage them to keep doing the updates. Stuff. Yeah, they can add. They did add a zone with the cold yeah. Taroth. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. not an explorable zone, but they still did add for so. sure, hundred percent. Um, I. And normally I'm on board with more content, but they've already established that they're that releasing they're it. it for free. Well, and he, he <laughs> could mean DLC, downloadable he, he, content. He could. Maybe just um, more of that. Dude, by the time I finish all that stuff, it's like the new one, like a new one comes out. Oh, yeah. So they're really like good about it. I'm yeah. like, holy shit. All right. Well, dude, I'm that's what's, I'm, that's what's hard for me to fucking keep track as someone who's not really playing the game, but trying to like keep like up to date with what I need to catch up on when yeah. I do play again. And I'm just like... Okay, they just released that. They released this. Then, like next week, they're like, "Oh, this thing's coming." I'm like, "Fuck, okay, I got to do that now and this." So they they are really, uh, they really already knocked out of the park with yeah. with their support yeah. for that game. No, they're full support. Um, full power. Yeah. The only other thing I was gonna say on that is they got their kind of hands full right now because they're releasing obviously Monster Hunter Generations. Uh, yeah. Uh, Which is on. The Switch, and then they're still working on Monster Hunter World. I'm sure they're working on Monster Hunter World Ultimate, if I had to guess. So mm. uh, they're busy, I'm sure. So God, I hope they're not too busy on fucking Monster Hunter World Ultimate because fucking that game hasn't even been out a year yet. Yeah, Cap-ca. we'll see. Yeah, they, they say they're Ultra not, but Cap-ca. Mega. 
And I'm a sucker because I bought like every every Ultra, like the newer Street Fighters that came out. Oh, yeah. I bought all that shit. Like, I'm a sucker. Capcom's like, really yeah. bad about that, but with Monster, at least you're getting like a really big chunk yeah. of like more content. It's not just like two new fighters and like some more clothes you can mm. buy. <laughs> You bought, real money. I have, Which I've bought a lot of other uh, the stickers and stuff. Shit too. I, I'm, I'm all about that. Yeah. You know, that's really it. And the Mega Man, of course, that's what I rock with for my uh, my Palico. Oh, Man. really? Mine's yeah. all nice. themed. I can't do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God, my, I, I'm pretty sure I'm still in my Nergigante armor and fucking uh, that scary Xenojiva fucking Ghost Widow fucking outfit. Yes. I have it's half of that the, on my Palico. my Palico. Looks like she's out on the fucking beach waiting for her long lost love to come <laughs> back from World War II. I love the, um, <clears throat> I can't remember its name, but the one that the neck blows up. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Puff Bat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's cute. I like that one. It's like the, the sword is like a heart. Oh, yeah, it's puffy, dude. That's it's nice. Cute. Puff Batty. Puff Batty. Mm. It's picked um, on by Oda Garen. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, play anything else? Uh, no. Uh, mm -hmm. Mad Max a little bit. I mean, that's okay. like from from when you know when they uh, PlayStation Plus last month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still kind of mm -hmm. I I want to beat that game, so it's still you know on my list. So it was funny when I was uh, it, it's it was my most successful post on Reddit ever, but like it was the last Plus Club I put on. Uh, the PlayStation Plus subreddit and uh, people were really into it. It was awesome. Um, and if any of you are watching this from that, fucking, uh, it was really cool to have that conversation with so many people. Um, but it was funny because like we're talking about Mad Max and and uh, what was the other game? Um, it was another car game, uh, Track Mania, I, I believe. Draw a blanket. Yeah. Uh, there are so many people who are like, I'm still playing Bloodborne. So it's just funny how like. They've been releasing games that people like want to play. Like, I still can't like, believe they dope fucking game. games. Yeah. Bloodborne. That's like, oh, dude, yeah, that yeah. Is like the pinnacle. Of, it's yeah. It's a those really guys always game. got something going though. Because like, I got the remake 3? of uh, Dark Souls. Was it uh, one coming yeah, out soon? Yeah. Oh, dude, which I'm I definitely am picking so up. Uh, I, I, mentioning Jeremy again, uh, he was like, he's like, you should pick it up for Xbox so we can uh, play co-op. And I was like. I mean, maybe because like I already own it on PC, mm -hmm. so and it's a game that like it's gonna look good, but it's not gonna be like the pinnacle of what graphics can do on a console. So right. I'm, like yeah. I, I might pick it up on uh, on Xbox, just so I have something to fucking play on there. Pick it up on the Switch. Yeah. I got that Duke controller I need to be using. <laughs> yeah. That okay? Because the original we, controller is so good. Can we can we just talk about that real quick? Okay, so like I loved the original Duke controller, and I still love it. But I played with it for about an hour playing Halo. I'm just gonna jump into what I've been playing. Because <laughs> um, I'm already ta I'm already talking about it. That's what we're trying to get to. Yeah, so. I'm trying to get to me real, real quick. I'm joking. This will be really brief. I got like two things I played. Um, played Halo Five for a little bit because I got that Duke controller. The only reason I even played it is I was like, I want to try this thing out. And I was using it, and about after an hour, the muscle in my palm right here mm -hmm. and the muscle in my palm right here started to feel like it was getting strained. Oh, it really? Started kind of hurting. So I. I, I it's a big controller. I get it, right? Everybody's like, "Well, it's a big controller," but uh, <laughs> but and they're right. But I think I'm just out of practice. I think I need to get these muscles working again. I think the Duke controller is the perfect uh, way to do that. I think that's the real thing. I don't think it's too big. I think it's just uh, I'm I'm just not the gamer I used small to be. Hands, bro. Yeah, my my in old age, my hands have gotten smaller. Because I, I remember when I remember when I was a kid playing on Xbox. So that thing, I fucking loved that controller. Here's the thing though, that the analogs are still super loose, which I hate. All Xbox controllers for yeah. some reason. The 360 was amazing. The Xbox One, those analogs, were, those analogs were uh, are fucked. And uh, but the thing that's nice is on the Duke controller, they still have those rounded top mm -hmm. uh, to the to the thing, uh, whatever the fuck it's called. And you can <laughs> you can aim <laughs> a lot. Yeah, the nub, the nub, and you can aim a lot better with it, which is nice. But you still have there's a lot of real estate you have to grip to be able to get that nice aiming. So I like the PS4 controller because it's nice and just P PS4 controller is definitely one of the best controllers ever made. Mm -hmm. um, which is crazy because I did not like the PS3 controller. Um, Should I use which that is on just PC? What a PS4 controller? Yeah, I uh, I recently just installed that for uh, Stardew Valley. So that's a great game oh, to, yeah, to yeah. do that for. Oh, we should play Stardew Valley. 
I should. I start it up. This is true. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I played uh, Halo 5. That game does not look as good as I remember looking, um, but it plays great. Uh, I wonder if they will. Uh, who thinks they might show off maybe a hint at Halo for E3? Oh, I think it's been long enough. They should. Yeah, absolutely has been long enough. For, do you, do you think they would? Game. Will, though? Do you think it's time? Yeah, well, they just got done announcing an arcade game, which apparently is going to be in Dave and Buster's. So we'll be able to go check that out. Have you ever been in Dave and Buster's? Uh uh-uh. This no. is crazy. No. It's cr- I, the only I went to one when I was Chris in New is Orleans. literally looking at you from the screen. That was creepy. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway, uh, I went to one in New Orleans and it was insane. It was it was. Well, apparently they're getting the, the Halo arcade game. Okay, so, yeah. um, what the fuck is but this? since they're talking Halo about something, they're obviously trying to get in the spotlight, mm-hmm. which. I, I have a feeling they're going to talk about a, a Halo project at the very least. I imagine it'll be Halo Six, though. I <clears throat> only reason I bring it up is talking about Halo, of course. But like E three is coming up really soon. Mm-hmm. I I feel like Gears of War is definitely the one they may bring up because yeah. the last one did pretty good, and I don't know, it seems like it's time for that. Same thing with Halo, but Halo seems like it's going to take longer to to create than Gears for some reason. But also, um. I don't know. I feel like it might be like a year out from now that we'd actually hear about Halo, but it'd be cool to hear something about it this time. Feels like they're just gonna do like a little. It feels like whenever they 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 will give you like a little teaser. They'll mm-hmm. be like, "Oh, we're working on it," yeah, uh, and then kind of just you know jump back and then let everybody just get crazy about it. But yeah, I'd be I'd, right. I'd be I'd be stoked. I like Halo. Halo. Me too. Uh, Chris, thoughts. I, I don't think there's going to be much on it if there's going to be anything at all. It's literally just going to be like you said, like a teaser, like, oh, hey, this is in the making. Mm. Maybe just like just like the logo or whatever, if anything. I'm waiting for Bethesda to, to fucking dim the lights and it's going to be like the fantasy world you've been you've been wanting to return to now has a new uh, place to explore. And people are like, oh, shit, Elder Scrolls 6. And they would be like fucking skyrim is coming to your phone yep. yeah. <laughs> or they're gonna say uh you know one of those places Morrowind the VR. next expansion to elder scrolls online oh, yeah. or something yeah. so which apparently is doing well now you can now take now. a portal in uh elder scrolls online to the real world and take a fucking average teenage american boy and bring him back to this world and then the monsters from this world will come back to earth and they'll have to stop that portal. That's a good. Uh, I think you're mixing topics a little sounds early. Like, sounds like a sounds like a good movie, right? We'll talk about that later. Um, <laughs> to, to move things forward, I've also been playing Rayman. Do okay. controller hurt my hands? That's what I was trying to say. Uh, Rayman is uh, is cool. We'll have to talk about that more at the end of the month. Mm-hmm. But um, I, I I'm still playing it. I'm still really digging it. So I mean, like I I'm I'm almost feeling. Well, we'll talk about it. But I'm. I'm feeling my score's going to be pretty high on that game. Um, I really encourage... I mean, Chris beat it already. Right? (laughs) Did you? (laughs) Wow. Did you you just unlock the last area and beat it, though? Or did you do every single level? I beat all the levels. Fuck, okay. (laughs) I was doing a bunch of them last night. I was like, oh, shit, this is going to take a while. But, uh... But, yeah, that that, that game... um, Really fun. Really fun so far. It is really fun. Um, and then I randomly played Earth Defense Force last night. Oh, I, uh, wow. I stayed up till like 7 a.m. Uh, hanging Ooh. out on the stream. Um, drinking this shit. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, randomly played EDF um, so I could show people uh, what that game's like. Uh, apparently most people haven't played that. because wow. Everybody's like, what is this? Um, it's amazing is what it is. It's fun as fuck. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know what it was the first time I saw you play but, it. And I was like, damn. I'm way out of practice. Don't know what the hell I was doing because, like, I was just like getting killed left and right, and like ants are grabbing me, and I'm shooting like fucking explosives at the ground while I'm getting shook around in the air and shit. I'm like, this is what this game is. This is what it is. This Welcome is why to I play. chaos. Yeah. Um, love that game, and uh, one of my most hyped games of whenever the fuck it's coming out is the next EDF, hundred percent. So that's what I've been playing. Pretty, pretty fucking minimal. I also have a short list. Good. Uh, I've been playing Monster Hunter Generations on my DS. And it is fun, though it took some getting used to going back to the way that game plays versus how smooth and transit the <laughs> Monster Hunter world is, um, and actually having to prep for every little thing versus, you know, only some of it. Sounds mm. like torture. I, you have to have whetstones. You have to, have, you know, all that oh. stuff. So, um, but it's fun. Well, I, it's it's good. Like when if you come from that, like yeah. like obviously 
like us three have played yeah. Monster Hunter quite a bit, and so like that's what we're used to. And World just kind of smoothed shit out, made the game way more playable. So going back to that, like yeah, it's it's like just kind of taking that up again. But for people who like maybe mm-hmm. weren't playing those, it's going to be a different feeling game. I, yeah, I started out playing it on DS, and it. Oh really? Yeah, and it like I wanted to get into it, and it was awesome, but it was just like so. Like, it does not hold your hand at all. Same mm-hmm. with, like, World doesn't either. It doesn't play as well either. Part. Yeah, and it's, it's just really like, stiff. Really, yeah, and then all, just... I don't know, man. So that little nub and joystick really helps. Yeah. That hurts my fingers. That does it? Nub, then, yeah. How hard are you pressing? Really hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not winning good enough. I will say I barely set my thumb on there and just kind of pivot. DS is, like, one of the... Like, I, I was really excited to buy, and when I did, I was, like... I got uh, Ocarina of Time, the remake, and then... Uh, Monster Hunter, and I haven't touched it since. So I'm, I like, have a like lot a of ago. DS games Two I need to ago. get through Two at some ago. point. Now the way you use the nubbin is you got to be very delicate, very gentle. Use you got to you got to use your nose. You got to uh, blow on it. Give a little. Kisses. What are we talking about now? This sounds very foreign to me. <laughs> uh, talking about video games. Video games, Chris. dog. Yeah. Video games. Right, you ever, you ever, right. you ever played any of those? Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've been playing that. Um, the other thing about that game too, versus the new one that I had forgotten about, is uh, your hunter rank uh, doesn't seem to go up as fast, uh, and because they just kind of, especially now, because you can download so many quests, I, knowing which ones that you have to complete, you kind of have to look up to see if you want to progress your hunter rank faster, or you just do what I'm doing and just kind of go down the list and just do one at a time. There's a lot of freaking quests, so also that game is kind of you know the 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 fan you know uh service project anyways you know with over 90 monsters yeah. and a bunch of quests in yeah. four different towns generations to be in is and... definitely the game for people who played monster and already yeah it's so much established things that you're going to come back and be like oh shit this is all in this if you're a brand new person like like to the game like you're just gonna be like what the fuck's going on it's it is that's exactly what i mean i literally bought it and i was like oh super excited like because i think i was like hearing you guys talk about it and as mm. soon as i played i was like holy shit i don't know what i'm doing yeah <laughs> and i'm like i have no fucking idea yeah. like and i think the graphics too i think for that maybe that's just me getting old too but it's like really hard to like those graphics are just like seem really dated i mean it's for the 3ds but mm-hmm. it's like seeing it in worlds it's so much easier to like well that's a very different piece of hardware yeah obviously <laughs> and, and, obviously, and, and i prefer i prefer consoles anyway oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. that big screen but and just, just so, all that yeah, shit it's just like you, you got to focus in and mm. it, it's it kind of strains you a little bit but well so i'm looking forward to it coming to switch though okay. the reason i even started playing uh, on my my ds is because the save file is transferable sure. so um and i've you know, we watched the the video of what they showed of the Switch version, and it looks a lot better. Having cool. played it recently, mm-hmm. like they did a really good job making it look better. So, uh, okay. and oh yeah, way smoother. You can still tell, like with the models, it's it's from like a mobile game or whatever. But like, it's so smoothed out and looks like it looks good. Like mm-hmm. I'm I'm actually really excited to play. Well, it. like one of the monsters, I can't remember their names because there's so freaking many of them. Oh yeah, but uh, one of the ones I was fighting has this really like you know square jaw or whatever, and I guarantee on the Switch version it'll be more rounded because I noticed even in the the trailer for the Switch one, um, the the corners essentially were actually like rounded on mm-hmm. monsters versus in the DS uh, they're sharp. Oh yeah, so, well it's easier to program sharper angles yeah, than yeah. circular. No, for sure. If you I look at like bald dudes in games, I always look. At, I always love looking at bald dudes in you games because like because you can see how curved it is, and every once in a while I'll see like a really circular fucking head. I'm like, damn. A lot of polygons. You guys yeah. did a lot of work on that fucking dome. Because other people, I'll see like that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Just the little corners. I'm like, yeah. It's 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 good enough for a bald head. Yeah. Uh, just one more thing on, on uh, Monster Hunter. I don't know if we're going to switch topics. But uh, being on Worlds, like, it makes me want, like, because this is my first Monster Hunter game, like, legitimately, that I've mm. actually played. Well, this is the first one I've, I've played as much time into. Okay. Yeah. yeah so it's like it makes me kind of want to go back, you know what I mean? Because I have a buddy who's into it, and he's telling me about all these other mm-hmm. monsters and, like, all these things they could bring to the table, and it makes me, like, want to, like, learn more about the, other monsters, and the, I'm hooked, man. Like, I'm totally hooked. The thing that's really cool plushies. about the, the system of Monster Hunter <laughs> is, like, the only thing that's really... S- different now is like 
uh, quality of life stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, the game plays the best it's ever fucking played yeah. uh, in world, and it looks great. But like the core mechanics and what you do in the game has pretty much been the same since the first one. Yeah, you'd go back and even play the very first game, and it's gonna have less stuff in it, but it's still the same experience. Yep. Um, I mean, you could definitely go back and play it. I, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it reminds me of like Fantasy Star Online or something like that. It's a game yeah, yeah, that yeah. will deteriorate in visual style, but like. The You'll be able to go back still and there. still fucking play. Yeah, yeah it's just, it's just a really fun game to play. Uh, it's almost like playing that game. It's really hard to play any other game. I feel like the it's really that's weird why comparison. I had to drop it. But it's like uh, I mean, like controller wise, like mm. everything. It's like it's like driving like a manual, like a stick shift car. It's like you're you feel more in control of everything. Like everything I do, if I fuck up, I'm like that was me. It's like a light oh, yeah. Uh, Dark it's like Souls. Rocket League, yeah. kind of. You know what I mean? It's just yeah. so tight. Everything is so freaking tight. Well, it's funny because when Bloodborne was was the game of the month, yeah. um, I was like, oh, I'll probably be a little better at this this time than I was the first time mm -hmm. I played it because I've been playing so much Monster Hunter. Because yeah. they have this like yeah. idea of the how combat works is similar. Yeah. Obviously, Monster Hunter is more forgiving. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, but the idea is still there. Sometimes. Sometimes. Monster <laughs> can be fuck a dickhead sometimes. Just fucking runs. The fucking me you and chris <laughs> were fighting tiastra and fucking at that time me and chris had already fought tiastra and and you were doing it for the first time yeah. and the whole time chris was like oh this fight's easy i'm like yeah this fight's easy and chris was like oh, so, this fight's so easy i'm like yeah this fight's fucking yeah. easy i don't never fucking die on this <laughs> he dies and i'm like he said it was easy and then i get stuck in a corner i fucking died instantly oh, i'm like God. oh shit <laughs> and chris died i'm like we gotta get out of here <laughs> this, is, this is dangerous i mean that that game is totally like you just can like beat the same monster over and over again and then you play it one time and he just gets you any any of the monsters get him stuck in a corner and you're oh, yeah. just like what the fuck? so you ever want your ego check just do fucking uh temper devil joe oh god that'll that'll calm me down yeah, real quick I don't need no <laughs> Piss me the fuck off. No, I, I, I tried it once, and after he hit me, and I noticed how much health I lost, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, the, the veterans, you know, anytime you, you see video or threads talking about how hard he is, you get these people, they're all, oh, you don't even have G-Rank yet. That so. that realization mm -hmm. in any game, but, like, it's very, uh, you see it a lot in, like, Monster Hunter on higher-end uh, monsters, but also, like, Dark Souls is, like, but any game, you go to fight a dude and you hit him and you notice you barely do any damage and then they hit you and half your health bar goes down and you instantly are just like, well, I'm in it. Fuck him. <laughs> this is not a good situation. Do I run? I'm do here. I, yep. Or do I, am I going to fight this guy for an yeah. hour? Oh, yeah. Um, which is, I mean, something that, that definitely happened um, in Monster Hunter the further I got into it. I'm like, fucking, I'd be hitting the guy. I'm like, when's he going to die? And then he hit me and all of a sudden it go. I'm like, oh, he's strong. He's really strong because he fucking the other monsters weren't doing this shit to me. Yeah, uh, that's how I feel about uh, uh, probably gonna butcher it, Karen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I <laughs> Karen's an the asshole. first time because for the longest time I'm like I'm not seeing this guy. Like I wasn't continuing on you know doing the investigation shit, and then I finally played him. I was like, this dude is an asshole. <laughs> I was like, I fucking hate this boss. I was like, none of the bosses in the game. I'm like, they're fair. They're shitty. But some of them are fair. That yeah. one is shitty. His tells are just uh, different because he, he is shitty. But he's fucking obnoxious, though. Yeah, he is obnoxious. He, he jumps, close. jumps around, yep. climbs this up things, jumps down, oh. fucking Cyber lightnings your ass. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, him and uh, actually Teostra were were some of the the harder ones for for my play style because they move around so much. Yeah. Which is funny because I don't have a problem with Oda Garen and he moves around a lot too. Yeah, so. Yeah. Uh, I th in fact, I think I've died more from Toby Kadachi than I have from Oda Garen. Really? Yeah. So. God damn, Toby. That tail whip is deceiving sometimes, man. <laughs> Does that flip and hit you with the tail? Yeah. All of a sudden, you're like, why am I almost dead all of a sudden? <laughs> you're yeah, not supposed I, to be hard. First time I fought him um, on a... Uh, oh, God. I'm losing it. Low rank? Uh, or high no, rank. High rank. Thank yeah. you. Uh, low rank. Fuck that. Uh, wow. <laughs> I didn't have an issue with him. But then, like... I got checked at the fucking door when I like when I I was fighting all these guys in high rank. I'm like, eh, hey, whatever, whatever, whatever. And then fucking I fought him at high rank, and he just goes whoosh and slapped me in the face with his fucking backhand tail, mm -hmm. and fucking almost killed me. I was like, oh shit. Yeah, <laughs> it was scary. Yeah, uh, and I really hope they do keep adding like uh, checks like that though, because mm -hmm. it, it makes. One thing that Kieran did for me is made me actually go out, get Thunder Resist, prep yeah, yeah, for yeah. the fight. Yeah, the first time I really yeah. looked into that. Um, 
and I like that. Yeah. Uh, at first, I don't obviously because I'm like, I've been doing just fine till now. What the fuck? My name is Kashala. Uh, oh yep. yeah, Kushlador. Yeah, Kushlador is an asshole. Oh, yep. The first God, time that, that was one of the only monsters in the whole fucking game. If you're playing playing Bugglave and you're in the air a lot, uh, most of the monsters I've made jokes about a million times, but like you're just kind of like just fucking relaxing in your hammock, floating over them, <laughs> just swinging your stick, and after a while the fight's over, and then like fucking fought that asshole, and he's like in the air just fucking, ho ho ho, just like fucking shooting <laughs> tornadoes and shit at me, and I'm just like. What the? What the is going on? Here, 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 here. He's also <laughs> shooting him at you. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, and he's flying through the air and stuff. Oh, I'm dude, like, you, the breath, you can't even see here. him through all the tornadoes. You're just like, I don't, I don't dude, know the scared. fucking the the wind breath he does. It does like almost no damage, but it caught, you're gonna be sitting there all of a sudden. You're like, ugh, ugh. Uh, like, so dude, annoying. stop fucking staggering me, man. There's, there's so I, I've never been like. Like obviously, I'm still playing and still keeping my interest, but there's been times where I'm just like. This is so annoying. Mm. Like I it don't happens. know, how, you know what I mean? It's just like you know, it's really annoying. A couple times we just have to put the controller down and just like take a walk or something like that and come back. You're like, all right, I'm good. Fighting when the game first came out, because that's pretty much the only time I fucking played the game a lot. After that, I've just kind of not been playing it. But yeah. like when I was like spamming uh, Valhazak trying to get all the the mm. pieces, uh, mm. when that was still like a new fresh thing. Yeah. People getting into that room would fucking die constantly. Oh, yeah. Constantly. Anytime he's like, Ugh, and just like spewed out his bullshit, <laughs> everybody'd be like, Wah! and just die instantly. Well, I'm like, and then I'd start the thing again. And I'm like, okay, let's do this. And then some people would come in and be like, let's do it. And then fucking they go, Wah! and I'd be like, okay, let's start again. Yep. Pro tip stay away from his face. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what if you need those things? You gotta be near his face to get the fangs. Sure, but if it's your yeah. first time there, don't be in front of him. That's why it's got to the point where I was just soloing him because I was like, I can't I can't do this. This yeah. is fucking the worst yeah. thing ever. Exactly. I was like, it got to the point where like, because Chris was helping me get some fangs, uh, we just go in the room with the stalagmites or stalactites. I can't remember which one's on the ceiling. It's the ones up there. And then I would just stand there, put down... Uh, the health gas, you know, cloud or whatever, and wait for him to run, and then he'd come up, and Chris would hit the thing, hit him in the head. <laughs> we'd, ba- we'd bash his head a little bit, regroup, do it again with the other one, and then eventually, uh, when you get to the room with all the acid pawns, there's just like this little nub that gives you just enough yep. that you can actually get in the air. Yep. And we would both just stand there, wait for him to rush, and we'd both just jump in the air and try to get him out. <laughs> My experience is a lot different. Like I would just go stand under the the things on the roof, and mm-hmm. fucking he'd just like start like stomping at me. And I'd be like, huh, and fucking shoot my bug up there, crack the thing, hit him in the head, and then I would just start flying yeah. upside down <laughs> over his head. And he'd be like, oh. That was the fight every time. Um, we could probably talk about Monster Hunter all yeah. day. So oh, My other game I've been playing uh, is Nino Kuni 2. Uh, oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. I am in, I think, Chapter 5 now. Damn, and, you're going to beat that game for me. Uh it's, we we talked about this a little bit at work, but like that game's so weird because like the story is like just enough to like make the game go forward, yep. right? I'm I'm not saying anything bad about it. It's yep. just there's nothing really there other than the reason to keep. Going. I'm gonna build the perfect kingdom where yeah. everybody's happy. But and people are like, yeah, that game is that. is the perfect example of what I like about JRPGs, which is usually the extras. It has so many extras to do. And it's always fun. Even if yep. you're doing, you know, I, I, the term, I don't want to use monotonous, but doing monotonous tasks, or repetitive tasks mm-hmm. or whatever, um, mm-hmm. I'm never bored doing it in that game, which is great. Uh, I don't know. I really hope if they, they make another Nino Kuni at this point, they really expand on the features they have because I love the castle building. Um, I would like to see it maybe a little more customizable. Definitely. Instead of like, even you if you have like to change colors here, or something, you know, type of thing. and building types, yeah. yeah. Um, but other than that, I like I love the system. Mm. I think it's great, and um, it's interesting too. That it's your it's your progress system. Mm-hmm. It's like your skill tree. Yeah, it is it's weird. Um, so a little more customization in that far, and, and like you said as well, maybe colors or even like themes. Like I want these to be wood buildings. I want these to be stone buildings. Yeah. I want these to be brick. You know, whatever. Um, you know, stuff like that. It, it goes a long ways. I mean, you know. People like you know Chris as an example is often referring to himself as an aesthetic whore. Mm. Um, you know that's mm-hmm. just extra for him. You know and that's enough to like be like oh I love this part of the game. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> um, I also would like the strategy thing or mode to be a little more refined as well because it's kind of just straightforward. You know 
It, it's okay. The skirmish mode? Yeah. Everybody mm. complains about that a lot. And I, well, you're not complaining. But I'm not complaining. I, I, it's I just really from. simple. Yeah. Um, the thing that I don't mind about it is most of the time it's optional. Um, mm -hmm. And it's simplistic, but for me, it's more of a refresher. If I've been doing kind of the same thing over and over again, if I do that, it's a, it's a whole different system. So, like, it kind of is a good, like, I don't know, fucking smelling like coffee beans if you're smelling like perfumes or whatever. Or candles like, or whatever. It just kind of yeah. resets my palate of, like, okay, let's go back into right, right. trying to find whatever I'm trying to find. Um, so, yeah, I don't mind it too much. And it, it would be cool if it was a little more robust, mm -hmm. but at the same time, a lot of that game is is more convenient in its gameplay than than anything. Yeah. Um, even the combat, like when you're fighting things, it's not necessarily the hardest part is like making sure you don't get hit by someone who does a lot of damage. But other than that, yeah. it's just it's or keeping your teammates keeping afloat. Yeah, it, but for the most part, it's kind of keeping track of you know who's ready to use a move and mm -hmm. all that shit. So and then switching your sword. Yeah. So I mean, for the most part, I I just. Uh... I want to congratulate them for uh, taking on the the spirit of Sakodin since a certain company doesn't make those anymore. Yeah, and uh, and keep it up because I, I love it. I, I miss uh, the the features that that series had that you have adopted. So I want that Cooney three. Cooney three would be good. I and I'm Fuck I'm yeah. pretty sure Cooney two did well enough for them to, to merit it. So. Yeah, I saw a lot of I people so. talking about it online when it came out. So. Very briefly, but yeah I, did, yeah, I didn't see anything negative about it. Anything else? That's it. That's what I've been playing. Chris, uh, I have been playing Blizzard again. Lots of Blizzard. How dare you? I know it's terrible. It's terrible. Um, nothing really new to report there. I mean, I'm in Warcraft beta, but I barely touch it. Really, it's not a very strong drive for me to play. Um, Why not? And I don't know. It's just. It's never the same as it used to be, so it's just not as fun. Plus, it's you know, it's there's only two servers, and I don't know anybody on them, so it's there's no social aspect of yep. it to me. That's something I so. made a really strong case for a while back. Is the the, the biggest aspect of an MMO, like gameplay, is whatever, but like mm. the social aspect is so fucking important. <laughs> people do not want to continue in MMOs without the social aspect. Mm. So people really got to drill in. Like that's the most important thing about an MMO. Really is. It is. Because you're not going to want to keep playing. Yeah. No, I mean, the content's there and stuff like that, and it's interesting, and they've made a lot of tweaks and changes to things in this, but it's just, eh, whatever at this point for me. <laughs> Maybe I'm just old. Me and you both, buddy. <laughs> and uh, I've been playing a lot of Warframe lately, because mm -hmm. um, they have the new Warframe out, um, and they've got a, a couple modes that are apparently re-released, like uh, Planes of Eidolon has like this big, like, infected cyst thing that you have to fight off um gross which is fun yeah it's gross um and it's 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 pretty rough at times because you gotta fight uh that big uh, infested boss it's got like the three faces that you can like kill at certain times of like attacking mm -hmm. i can't remember what it's called but it, it summons four of those usually and it's like level 45 and it gets up to level 80 and it's like really rough yeah i uh, i saw you playing it i think last night I was, yeah, on, I was about to hop on there. I haven't, I haven't played that in a while, and uh, yes, should. I've been, I've been looking for a game that I can kind of just like actively play, but also kind of relax. Because a lot of games that I've been playing late, like lately, I have to pay like a lot of attention to, and there's like a storyline that I have to be like really paying attention to. And that game, like, you know, I can just, I can pick a task and and just play and towards that and try and gain something without mm -hmm. you know having to be super invested in like okay, I'm in chapter seven. Stories here, fucking do it like, yeah, you get what I'm saying. Yeah, you should come back. I've, I've, I've invested a lot of uh, materials into the dojo. <laughs> I need to look at that, yeah. I need to make sure there's not like a bunch of rooms in the dojo that's full of like boxes and just filled up. Like, well, no. out of sight, out of mind. Look at this room, it's the nice one. <laughs> He's gonna no, walk no, in a nothing. room and it's gonna like have like fucking happy birthday banners and shit all over the place and balloons. That'd be dope. <laughs> Um, no, nothing like that. But I have been uh, working on your old favorite gun, the uh, Amprex. It is my I've got four gun. forming into it now. Nice. I think so I, I uh, formed that six or seven times. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 ramping up for me. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's the little know. engine that could, man. Fucking, I remember when it first came out on uh, 
PS4 and I was playing it, and I had a really cool Amprex build, and people like were watching the stream, and they're like, why are you using the Amprex? I'm like, because this, and I'd hit the button, and everything in the room just go, ugh! And they're like, can I see your build? I'm like, yeah. And then later, people were like, eh, the fucking Amprex pretty cool. I'm like, I know. <laughs> the fucker, you don't have to aim. It just hits everybody. Just make that work. Figure out a fucking way to kill things, and yeah. that thing's going to be disgusting. Although, at higher level stuff, it, it kind of tapers yeah not too bad but you, you gotta work you actually gotta work for it i guess it's just me being lazy because with the amprex it's like <laughs> and everything's dead oh, and you're then, gonna make me fight this for and then later than i'm like while well, like doing backflips and shit trying not to get hit so i just i guess i was just too used to not doing Got spoiled yeah yeah yep. i use a lot of uh mesa mesa these days a lot of her because i just uh I feel like I'm overwhelmed. I'm just—I don't want to aim. I just activate her ult. I just clear the room. Like, nah, fuck this. Yeah. That's where you. Yeah. 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 But does it do it automatically? Don't you, you have to, aim to be now? looking in the direction? Okay. Yeah. So it's got like a reticle that covers the screen, right? Mm. You hold the trigger down, and the reticle gets smaller and smaller the more you shoot things. So it gets like a finite point, and then you have to start aiming it or recast it. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad oh, for a while there again, huh? they had like yeah I gotta remember that. Um. For a while there, they had a couple different uh, frames that had um, like end all be all moves. They just kill everything in sight. So I'm glad mm -hmm. that they they adjusted some of the things. I win buttons. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, which, uh, what's your name? Saren's miasma. Just yeah. AOE. Which I mean, which... it feels good to be like, haha, I'm powerful. I win. But like, it's <laughs> it's boring. Yeah. So. Well, it's uninvolved, and, and they obviously want people to be involved in playing. And so. when different frames kind of lose their individuality because like they all have a move that does that in some way, it. it it kind of takes away from the experience of unlocking new. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like the play. new Warframe. She's got a move that's very similar to Frost, where she creates a dome, uh -huh. but it's a dome of like chains. And then when enemies walk into it, they don't freeze; they get strung up by the chains. Yeah. And then, like, not directly quoting what the context of the ability says, but it basically says that their other enemies basically try to kill their allies off to end their misery. <laughs> So they just sit there Damn. and shoot at their allies. Yeah, it, turn, it, it, it turns into taunting, essentially. Mm. It's like yeah. Hellraiser. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm pain. <laughs> the yes. blood brought me back. And the other Hard thing it, it doesn't have that, the, that Frost has is you can, because they're just chains and not a Frost you know, globe, mm -hmm. uh, the Frost globe you can't shoot through. They can shoot through the chain still. So, Correct. Yeah. So you have to pick and choose what kind of defense you're capable of handling or not. So. Mm -hmm. try that. she's a little more like a kind of like a jack of all trades from what i've seen so far i haven't actually gotten her yet but she's having a little bit of damaging a little bit of cc um nothing like crazy major yeah yeah i know they need to tweak her a little bit because people were kind of complaining about uh the whip moves so mm, right because yeah. the, the whip doesn't hit at the full body just the point like old whips. i hate it, Only, I hate uh, it. Uh, <laughs> a lot of I, I know like uh a certain youtuber who who covers the game a lot um was talking that by just making it into a small cone casey neistat it. yeah i know he totally plays warframe all the time so. <laughs> that 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 thing from that movie cat's eye stephen king's uh, cat's eye uh that oh tries to God. suck out the life out of drew oh, barrymore yeah. he, you mentioned him i can use him as a hashtag now <laughs> yeah good yeah what's up casey uh, i know you're watching um what else you playing uh that's about it at the moment well, fuck. We're only 40 minutes oh, in. Only 40. And we need to do another 40. Um, <laughs> that's not a thing. Um, anything else anybody wants to mention? No. Good no. Monster Hunter talk? I usually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, we have three videos to watch today. Um, so we're just probably going to jump right the fuck into that. Uh, so, yeah, Soul Calibur 5, or 6. Um, 12. I'm not a fan of 5. I'm, six. I'm upset that I even said that um has a new reveal so uh we're gonna watch that you ready chris i am ready all right and three two one go i like how we've been saying that he has to be in the game so it's good to see him i, I would say this is this is one i was like oh there he is mm -hmm. yoshimitsu yeah yeah it's like yoshimitsu I was like the Yoshimitsu will have like a traditional look and then sometimes you have like a sci-fi look and yeah. this is almost like a kind of a, a little bit of both. 
Trump probably looks sure looks like a fucking demon. He probably looks like, uh, no, like, uh, Tekken 3. Oh, yeah. He's very sci fi. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, he had like a yeah. laser sword and shit. Yeah, it's so flashy. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. Looks really good. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, well, I always like him because he's so, like, non, like, on par, I guess, move wise with other characters. He's just so unique. Oh, yeah, no, he's definitely, um, Kind of more eclectic in his uh, move set. I think he's just stealing souls. Yeah, right. Might as well, <laughs> if they're offering him, man, take him. Uh, what do we think? Was expected. So yeah, glad to see him. Good. Yeah, that was one of the, the the pinnacle ones that I was like, it has to be in the game because he always is in the game and not even like as a main character, but like if these guys are gonna make a fighting game, he's got to be in it. Right. It's like their like right. trademark of like this is our game. So. Um, he actually looked, uh, every once in a while I'll see him and he does like his goofy ass moves and stuff. I'm glad that they kind of more so, uh, showed off him looking like a competent fighter and not yeah. just a pogo stick yeah. fucking bouncer. Flea. Yeah. Or, uh, sitting there scooting around on his ass and mm -hmm. doing a bunch of weird shit, helicopter stuff. Um, I mean, he always reminds me of, uh, Japanese, like Kabuki theater, like oh, over exaggerated attacks. Yeah. Yeah. But I really like fans and all that weird stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Weird shit. No, no. Uh, looks great. Um, I mean, he obviously has to be in that game. I mean, he just kind of just makes his way in no matter mm -hmm. what, which is awesome. Yoshimitsu uh, is an interesting character, too, because, like, I he's not, like, a main that I'll pick, but I actually, like, I'm pretty competent with him. So yeah. I always, every once in a while, I'll just kind of spice up the fights. I'll pick him or fucking Valdo, Volvo. Where the hell is he at? <laughs> I can't wait to see that that boy. Mm. Isn't the, the new or the uh, guest character is uh, Geralt? Yes. Oh yeah, and yeah it's, it's super, dope as super shit. interesting. I haven't seen anything on that, but oh, I mean, really? it just looks cool. I mean, I can imagine. It's cool because they kind of took his actual like move set and like fighting style from the game. So mm -hmm. he's like like most of the people in Soul Calibur like have their stance, but they kind of still move like a fighting game. But like he's like dancing on his feet and shit, oh, like, okay. doing his more like fencer style fighting, which is pretty neat to see. So. Very cool. um, they also incorporated his spells into his combos. Yeah, oh, awesome. yeah. yeah, it's very cool. I hope he's. Completely balanced and works with the rest of the characters. I'd hate to and see him Yoda just be like the OP Vader. guy that yeah. everybody's like, you're going to fucking play him. Like, oh, fuck Spawn. you, who cares? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Spawn just flying and shooting yep. axes and shit. <laughs> it's like, I thought it was a fighting game. I didn't know it was a <laughs> get me wrecked game. Um, yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Anything else, Chris? Uh, in most fighting games, I tend to like every iteration of them, I switch like which character I main. I think I'm going to use him. Yeah, yep. that's my name. Yep. Yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot. Well, I might, because if I pl if I play and someone feels you know better than someone else, then I'll probably end up switching to him. I know I played Ivy for a long time and I ended up switching to uh, Tira after when she was introduced because I, yeah. I think she better. she played uh, smoother mm -hmm. for me at mm -hmm. the time. Oh, so. definitely. Let us know in the comments what do you think about this reveal. Are you a fan of Yoshimitsu? Are you gonna play him? Do you fucking hate him? Why is he always in all these goddamn games? Let us know in the comments below. Uh, why is he always making that sound? Why, why is he a helicopter? <laughs> um, okay, so uh, recently there was the big Black Ops 4 reveal. They, they put out a bunch of information. Um, we're going to watch a video of the multiplayer reveal trailer showing off uh, gameplay of the multiplayer. I've watched quite a bit of it already. There's actually people who have posted like their actual gameplay sessions. Looks like Call of Duty. Um, but there's a couple of interesting things to talk about real fast. And I, I kind of want to get you guys' opinion on this. Um, they've changed a couple things in the Call of Duty. Um, so every Call of Duty typically has a single player campaign. They are doing a uh, almost kind of like Battlefield uh, segmented single player where you're going to play... Uh, the characters that were in Black Ops 3 are coming back in 4, but this is actually a prequel. Um, so all their moves are going to be more um, or less technological, but still more grounded. they're going to be different. But yeah, it's going to make sense. But when you play single player, you're going to play these characters from both these games. So it's adding almost like a continuation of the two games uh, to kind of get some background on these guys um, and girls, which is kind of interesting. It's different. Um, kind of makes sense too, which because like most people play the multiplayer, yeah. So they're putting less time in the single player, but still putting it there. A lot of people are saying it's not there at all. It is. Um, uh, multiplayer is back, of course. Um, pick ten systems back. Uh, if you know what that is, if you don't, it's uh, you get to pick ten uh, things, uh, attachments, perks, all stuff like that. Once you pick ten, you're done. So uh, there is no. Um, 
trying to figure out if this will work with this thing. You just pick 10 and you're done, uh, which I actually really like that system. Um, yeah, there is no health regen anymore, which is huge. Call of Duty's always had uh, health regen. Um, now it is a button that when you press it, you will heal yourself or there's some people who can heal other people. Um, and then that regens and you have to wait for that. They want that. They want the game to be slower paced and more tactical feeling, which actually I'm really excited about. Um, I was actually feel free that, to jump in. That, while that's that's more off. attractive for me too. Cause I, I can't, <clears throat> I'm not a big fan of the, the more hyper pace. That's why I generally will play battlefield instead. Yeah. Um, because I like the slower pace. Well, so. And because this is a prequel, there is no boosting and there's no wall running. Mm -hmm. They took that away from three, which I thought was kind of interesting, but I'm glad they are going back to the boots on ground uh, combat because I prefer that. Mm -hmm. uh, search and destroy is not as fun when people are like flying in and mm -hmm. running on walls and stuff like that. Look, look up. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, healing is going to be more of a uh, tactical factor in the game. Um, there's also going to be certain things that you can activate. Uh, one at a time that will allow you to do things like if you have an LMG when you're shooting at people, if you're not hitting them, you're still distorting their vision. Um, and not just like in a suppression way, but like in a digital way. Um, so it'll be kind of cool shit like that. Um, and yeah, of course they are adding a battle royal mode. It's not the whole game. There's people on Twitter who are very confused about this. Blackout. It's called Blackout. Uh, they do not know the number of players in it yet. Uh, they are fucking around right now to see what is the best feel. I do not think they're going to do 100. Um, it's actually called seen? Fortnite. Uh, you can build stuff. It's called Player yeah. Unknowns Fortnite. <laughs> um, um, I saw speculation on that, actually. Uh, and it was actually uh, Michael Packer mm -hmm. who was, was bringing it up. He said the engine is designed to, to uh, do up to 32 players. So, yeah. so it'll probably be a 32-player Battle Royal mode. Which I think is fine because I, I I told some people on Twitter I told a lot of people on Twitter a lot of things um, <laughs> but uh in a in an unknown Twitter account that I won't tell you because um, I get away with a lot of things with that um, I, was t I was telling people that that the hundred people is not a defining factor in a battle royal mode it's about being dropped in randomly and finding random things to kill each other and try and make it to be the last one alive that's what battle royal is the hundred people. Uh, factor is something that people find as a standard now because it's been, you know, standardized in a lot of the games. But even when you play PUBG, you'll get in a room where there's like 72 people. The the, the match still plays out like normal. Yeah. Um, well, the hundred works because the size of the map, right? Exactly. Because they're kind of going after that uh, Daisy Arma, you know, feel or vibe, which is where the genre came from. Yeah. The as mods versus like you know, Call of Duty is obviously about smaller maps, so um, mm. it doesn't make sense to to have a company that that focuses on making small maps like also go we're making a huge map with 100 people like that's not their ballpark when the people that are upset about it essentially copying um that genre which i i, I don't I see an issue there at all expression. yeah yeah me too but then they're also bitching that's not gonna have 100 people it's like well what do you want because if they're gonna do battle royal let's keep it like as call of duty battle royal let's keep it yeah, unique yeah. to Make the call it, of duty yeah, experience exactly. yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's supposed to be a big map. It's supposed to have uh, air vehicles, uh, normal vehicles or land vehicles, water vehicles. Uh, in cool. in uh, a couple of the stills, it showed guys in like uh, wing suits flying out of a building while shooting at each other. That's weird for Call of Duty. Man. It's it's gonna be weird. But uh, but this is its own separate mode too. A lot of people, yeah. like I said, are really upset about this. Like it's just only like this they mode have now. To play that, yeah. yeah, exactly. And I think it's really really kind of disingenuous unless they just don't get it well, like a little, little update it. for anyone who's not familiar with call of duty specifically Treyarchs. you buy call of duty it comes with a lot of different games on it and you, you have to pick which one you want at the beginning of the game and then it loads into that game type so yep. you're going to pick multiplayer and it's probably going to go to traditional call of duty multiplayer mm -hmm. you'll probably pick blackout and it'll go to that like just like zombies and single player yep. and whatever arcade mode they end up adding yeah, you're not gonna i don't think you're gonna be like hopping into mosh pit and it's gonna throw you in a deathmatch mode search destroy mode and then blackout i think blackout will be its own thing with its own progression because yeah. i don't think your leveling is going to matter the same in multiplayer as in blackout so um i would hope and not. i i fucking welcome it i another mode i cannot yeah. complain because they did not fuck what i was i was worried about which is the multiplayer yeah um it's not and then, new but it's new for but series yeah um 
And then the last thing that they're adding, or not adding, but uh, the zombie mode's coming back, of course, but they're actually launching it with three maps, which is kind of crazy because there typically is only one map when they first launch. Um, it's also interesting because uh, from what they've shown so far, one is based on the Titanic and essentially uh, it hitting the iceberg. Uh, the reason for that is the zombies, which I think is kind of a cool way to twist, on the story, uh, twist yeah. the, the yeah. history of that um, in the in the video it shows like you know these guys are doing like a heist on the titanic zombies uh show up from this dude doing some weird ritual thing and then while the fucking zombie thing is happening the titanic you know because everybody's getting killed hits the iceberg so treyarch has done some really cool stuff with their zombie uh modes having things in the map change mm. so it'll be kind of cool to see if it, they're gonna have the ship breaking during the oh yeah, yeah. the the mode which would be kind of cool yeah there better be an achievement that should say something like king of the world or never let go something like you get to the front of the boat and you get king of the world or if you I'm jump sure. off the back end of the boat you just I'm never sure. let go or have a have a door that's out in the water and if you go out there it's like there's room for one more always room for one more rose write these down um yeah write this down treyarch i'm giving you good ideas um another one too looks like it's uh just playing the violin while it's going down yes. um the other map they showed was uh looked like a traditional one of the old uh, nazi german um maps and then the other one was interesting because it shows like these people in ancient egypt or not ancient egypt they're like archaeologists something like that and they're mm. looking at the stuff and they get sucked back into like roman times and they go into like uh the the um, coliseum and they're fighting zombies with like melee weapons so that'll be kind of interesting to see if they do go the route of just having melee weapons that in a zombie sounds, mode like really it sounds like they're trying to do shit that's like really different actually yeah. when it's really refreshing yeah for well, sure once i see they're, it i mean I'll have another opinion but that's it Sounds like they're trying to do new things, mm -hmm. not come out with the same fucking game every year. Well, it's awesome. Yeah, and the last Black Ops. When I when I'm talking about Black Ops, I'm being very specific because Treyarch does what the other Call of Duties are not doing. Mm -hmm. They 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 really put a lot of work in their games. And Black Ops Three was like had a lot of shit to it, and it was a really fun game. Mm -hmm. And this one, they're saying they've put more work into it and made it the biggest Call of Duty they ever made. So, um, pretty pretty excited about it. Um, honestly, um, but yeah. Uh, any thoughts on any of those changes or all that shit? No, not so much. I mean, we kind of talked as you were talking. So. Yeah. Yeah. Did that happen? Yeah. Um, all right. So we have a video we're going to watch. It's going to be people shooting stuff. You ready, Chris? Yep. All right. Three, two, one, and go. I'm happy to see that they kept it within the same universe as 3. Yeah, yeah. I was worried they were going to try and change it up again. Uh, I forgot that guy's name, but in 3 he had the spikes and he yeah. jumps forward and hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in this he has a crap on hook now. Because this is like a prequel. So it's interesting that the same characters will have different moves. To bring shields back. Them fight though, it still seems I mean, definitely called. Well, they do this with every Call of Duty though in their trailers. They they show as much as they can as if this is going to be happening all at once. Yeah, Call of Duty, yeah. you're alive, you're dead, you're alive, you're yeah, dead. Exactly. You're never going to see like eight people in the same area doing all this shit. So, yeah. so I think that was Pyro from 3, but he put the thing on the ground and was able to ignite someone behind a wall, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. Sounds like microwaves or something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And that mine almost looks like it's... I don't know if it'd be passed between, like, the three... Or if it's like a trip mine. Yeah. Axe, of course, is back. Which means, uh... Uh, six and seven. Or... Yep. Eat this! Turn into another 
Yeah, it's fucked up. Josh told me that, that the dog isn't a perk, it's actually a character that has it. Oh. Which kind of reminds me of, um, ghosts. Yeah. People had dogs in that. Huh. Yeah. Thoughts? Uh, looks like Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, it does. Actually, you know what? It kind of <laughs> reminded me of just like watching the scope and, and shooting, actually, which I really like. Obviously, is my favorite Call of Duty is 2, Modern Warfare 2. Oh, yeah. Kind of remind me of that a lot. Like, when you're saying like slow it down, like that mm -hmm. game was fast paced, but there was something about it when you were like hunkered down and like, uh, you know, like actually but, found a spot and you're trying mm -hmm. to shoot people like there, there's something about it and it kind of remind me a little bit of that hopefully they're going towards that there but. there's a pacing to the original call of duties that that has been lost and there's specifically in modern warfare modern warfare 2 and black yeah. ops uh after that they did speed it up quite a bit advanced warfare i think was the pinnacle of being way too much yeah. because yeah, it was yeah. almost starting to feel like quake um Titanfall. yeah um black ops 3 kind of took it back a notch still kept some of that stuff but it seems like they're trying to go back to that uh, feeling and um, a lot of people have been bringing up too that it seems like they're taking a lot of ideas from a lot of things that have worked from their own games and other people's games, mm -hmm. which you can hate that all you want. I want a game that's gonna be fun as fuck, so yeah. I don't I don't mind it. Um, but yeah, I noticed that as well when I watched it. It was reminding me of Modern Warfare Two as well, especially mm -hmm. with the shields coming back, yep, yep. Um, people building up those like uh, grounded shields stuff like that. Yeah. Those things are all set up for more perimeter uh, defense type stuff which will slow down the gameplay. No one's running off walls using like, you know, crazy shit to kill things while they're moving. It's more so like hold the position, uh, put mines down, which mm -hmm. is the stuff I love from like Black Ops yeah. and, and Marvel Warfare 2. So, yeah. yeah. I'd be curious to see. Uh... Although I'm really upset because you actually played Black Ops 3 with me in the co-op mm -hmm. uh, campaign. And I don't think that's going to be a thing in this. So yeah. it, it, that yeah. in a sense seems like a step back. Oh, yeah. that's kind of weird that there's... Yeah. Yeah. That was a really cool thing. Makes it a, makes it a hard away. sell for me because, I, like, I'm not into competitive yeah. games. Okay. Um, I do play Battlefield. I do enjoy sure. Battlefield. But there's there's a difference between its competitive nature and the way Call of Duty is. Because Call of Duty is very much like you're in each other's face type thing. Oh, As yeah. for in Battlefield, you're just another, another you know, ant is part of the colony, yeah, yeah, essentially. Yeah. So, fucking Call of Duty, sometimes you spawn and someone's already in your face shooting yeah. you. Yeah, I hate that. So you show up and fuck, so like, okay. But, I mean, that just all competitive shooters have that. Yeah. I mean, that's happened to me in Battlefield as well. Oh, yeah. So it's just... Oh, I've spawned with the enemy, the whole fucking yeah. team. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm with you guys now. It and happens, like, uh -uh. and it sucks, but... Mm -hmm. mm -mm, not you. Get rid of him. The only way to fix that is to have, like, set spawn points, it's, and that yeah. uh, turns into camping. Well, so. and Search and Destroyer does that. Mm -hmm. It depends on the, on the game type. I mean, doing Deathmatch... Well, Deathmatch is fine. You're killing everybody anyway. But Team Deathmatch is really tricky because they made that adaptive system a long time ago where you're spawning with your team no matter where they're at on the map. And it's so far away gets, from enemies as possible. That gets mixed up because when they're all spread out yep. pretty evenly, it's like, uh, Just in the that middle. one. There you yeah. go. There's a firefight <laughs> happening here, but you really don't want to spawn over nowhere. there. Yeah. <laughs> that whole area is being bombed, yeah. so you're going to like this one it's better. It's a tricky beast. So. Yeah. Well, yeah. Tricky I mean, beast. from what mind. I saw, I it does look neat. Um, Am I gonna buy it? Probably not. Yeah. Just because um, Seth will buy it, so fucking he will. Yeah. And and you never know. I, I could, need a competitive shooter. I could get into it because like I'm obviously not 100 percent opposed to it because I like I said I, I play Battlefield and I play Titanfall two. Um, in fact, I've played more of the multiplayer in Titanfall two than I have the single player. Yeah, I never even beat the single player in Titanfall two. So it's good. Um, but that just shows that even in like I'm not competitive, there's still something there that is kind of working for me. Chevy is wasted potential. I fucking hate it because he could be on my team. My team would be doing even better because Chevy is actually better than the average person in a lot of first-person shooters. And he doesn't like to play them too much because he like the competition. I love it because I want to fucking win. And that's a good player right there. And he won't fucking join my team. He's like, I'd rather play this game where I can relax and just sit here and watch anime. And enjoy and murdering myself. people. Yeah. Crushing dreams. And I'm just like, fuck. I need, I need this. Sending 12-year-olds to bed early. <laughs> Making them scream and wake up their parents and yeah. just listen to them get in trouble. Ma'am, Ma just wait more, ma'am, ma'am, please, ma'am. Shevmo will stop killing me. Shevmo's not competitive and he's beating me. It's really insulting because I want to win. <laughs> and he's like, I don't care if I win. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, 
quick rant. Chris. Uh, yeah. There's guns and shooting. Pew, 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 pew. Fire and like explosions. <laughs> I'm with Shaver. I'm not really into first person shooters and competitive aspects. I mean, I do play Overwatch, but I think it's slightly different. It's PvP. Um, way different. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I've, I've always enjoyed the zombies mode in these games because I like that co op aspect. So let's talk about PvE. that. What, what do you think about what they're doing with it? Uh, I'm excited. I, I like the fact that they're adding more than one map um, possibly to it. And the aspect of, you know, that, that, that weird sounding time travel when we like maybe do a lot of melee would be really, really um, intriguing to me. Um, mm -hmm. I'd probably play that one the most, to be honest, because I like the aspect of, I think there's something to be said about melee combat um, in games like this, where it's you're way more tactical because you're trying not to take any damage at the same time you'd be in range to do damage. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it's more slower paced which i think is better suited for me because i tend to get flustered the faster pace these kind of games go um so i i, I don't know zombies it seems like it's fun and i like the idea of multiple maps for it definitely uh all right anything else anybody wants to say on uh pp never let go jack never let go let us know in the comments what do you think about uh call of duty black ops 4 what do you think about the uh battle royal mode um what do you think about the zombie mode? Um, is there anything about Call of Duty that you like? Do you like Call of Duty? Do you hate it? Let me know why. And uh, do you not give a fuck? Let me know everything you're thinking about when it comes to Call of Duty. The third video we are watching is uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. They recently had an event, I believe, uh, where they showed off uh, some gameplay of the Toy Story world. Um, Let the press play it and certain streamers play it as well. Yeah, and that was one thing that was kind of hard when I was looking for the video of, of this area they got to play is a lot of these videos is like a dude, a dark silhouette, just hunched over, breathing, just playing video games and like the cam shaky cam behind him and there's like a small like CRT TV, just they're playing in a dark room and you can see people in the background just eating Doritos and shit and I'm just like, can we get like a fucking, can we get like some... Some screen capture here, dog. Like, I'm not trying to feel like I'm living in this it's sweaty room. Well, it's supposed to. It's. I think there's a. And obviously, they're not gonna be able to stop anything now. It's out there, but they they weren't supposed to talk about it at all. So. Well, until now, because there's a bunch of videos. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. It leaked, obviously, so they they just had to kind of go for it. But they, a lot of the streamers said, "I wish I could talk about it," um, but I got my hands on it, and I can say that I liked it. And that was about as far as I I want to talk about Digny Hearts 3, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, any, anything you guys want to say on this? People are saying, okay, so first off, I've been reading a little bit about people's impressions, and they're saying that it still translates well, still plays well, there's still charm, but then Kotaku was like, they don't address the problems of the original games. I didn't read the rest of the article because fuck them. But um, <laughs> but they, they found some issues with it. I'm not sure what they were because I don't give a fuck. But it seems like so far people are saying that it still maintains the same charm, which is good to hear for me because I was kind of worried that this one seems, it seems like Disney has is, is a lot less present in the the big production of this as they were in like the original Kingdom Hearts and then Kingdom Hearts 2. I don't even really remember when that one's coming out too well. This one seems so much more like square, just like has the rights to and they're making the game. Whereas before it seemed like a really like... 50 50 collab between the two yeah, yeah. Mm. I, know what you mean. I, I feel the other way i feel disney's way too involved in this one kingdom mm -hmm. hearts is only being shown off at disney events and uh there's i'm talking I, about in the production well even in the game itself like uh i i don't think i've seen a square character yet it's all been mm -hmm. disney characters uh, feels very very feels hard very disney 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 that's true story. actually yeah and all the like some a lot of the moves are now like disney theme park rides so, what? Yeah, but that sounds like corporate bullshit. Like, it, uh, like before, it seemed like there was like a really good mix of like, like you were saying, like you were seeing uh, Final Fantasy characters and um, and Disney characters. But like, you're seeing a lot of Disney characters. But like, I'm not seeing like, it, it seems like a bunch of them that we've already. Well, I guess Monsters Inc. wasn't in the other brand one, new, yeah. and so Toy Story, Story wasn't in there mm -hmm. as well. I don't know. Before they were like. Be, okay, so before when they were showing off Kingdom Hearts, they're like, this is a game that's going to merge the two worlds. And they're like advertising like all these like at the time high end actors who are going to get involved with this. Mm -hmm. It seemed like there's this big 
uh, event of just like, because back then there's a bunch of shitty fucking voice actors. They're like, we're getting fucking, I see dead people to be in this game. And I'm we're going to get fucking Lance Bass to play fucking Sephiroth and Ugh. all this shit. And like now it's just like, the first video that came out was like, here's some early concept of the uh, Unreal Maybe. Engine version of this game. So they don't have to sell it to people anymore, though. And then the, well, but they did that with the second game as well, though. Hmm. So it's been so long. Maybe things have changed. I don't know. But it, just, it, it feels like Square's just like working on this game to make it. I'm not saying anything bad. I'm just saying like, right. it, it seems like there's less like, Oh my god, it's so whimsical and 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 fun. And like fucking Disney is is bringing this game to you wherever. It's more like well, and I think a large part we're, of that. we're making this game and we got the rights to Disney. So mm -hmm. and Disney's watching us because if we fuck up, they're gonna sue us into hell. Well, and I think a large part of that is Kingdom Hearts one and two. You got to see it at gaming expos and stuff like that. And this one, it has literally been like this was specifically for Kingdom Hearts. And now any other time, it's at Disney events. Mm -hmm. It's not yeah, a games call. It's you not a Disney closet and let you play it, and they fucking got a stick. And if you so. if you don't like it enough, they fucking smack you. <laughs> it's just weird because it's not at good things. gaming conventions and stuff. So it's weird. Yeah, yeah. I, it, like the first couple ones felt pretty like like you didn't see a lot of Final Fantasy characters. I mean, it was kind of mixed in there here and there. But like the gameplay and like some of the character design felt very like 50-50 as far as like Disney and you know Square. And now it really feels like Disney is the harsh overlord boss telling square what you're like hey we paid you all this money this is how you're gonna fucking do it just use your engine and do whatever you fucking do with games and make it our game i mean do whatever the fuck you probably do not wrong so. what well, that's my original thing is i'm saying like that like their involvement seems like like more of like a corporate level like checklist like okay you have toy oh, story yeah. in there make sure it's represented mm -hmm. this way it's not like somebody who's from disney is like there at square going like let's work together let's make this great game they're just mm -hmm. like mm, you can use toy story we have that agreement mm -hmm. just do it right and square's like yeah okay fucking we're, we're working on it yeah we like the money no yeah. more, no more tron no more, no tron. more tron no more trying to get the stick that's a bummer <clears throat> that's a bummer Anything, anything else on that before we watch that? Let's do it. Is there any Star Wars shit? Stay out of Star Wars. So, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I, I'm what, really me, surprised. Me and Chris are on this. Chevy makes a very good point that there's nothing wrong with it. I just feel dirty thinking about it. So why they yeah. they already dirtied Star Wars? What's the matter now? Well, that's a good point. I, my original point was before I saw fucking Last Jedi, but um, so now I'm like, it's already here, fucked. Here come the thumb downs. It's already been thrown into the dumpster and lit on fire. Might as well just fucking throw Darth Vader in there and and have a charming story where where Sora and all of them get to hold hands with Darth Vader and like, he's actually a good guy. And they all go skipping into the sunset. That doesn't happen in Kingdom Hearts. And fucking might as well. But um. <laughs> He's a baby killer. Maybe with or Luke. Youngling. Youngling killer. <laughs> Young. that, that one, the major, the, the, the fucking right when he shows up, like there's all the kids that are like, Mas Master, what's his name? Fucking Anakin. Anakin. Yeah, Anakin. that's his name. Forgot it. Fucking, they're like, hey, Anakin, what, what the hell's going on out there? And he's fucking, and that one kid who stepped up, he's like right in his face, fucking, he killed him first. It's awful. <laughs> they're going to they're gonna play friends with him in fucking Kingdom Hearts? I don't even know where you're at right now. <laughs> Child murderer, dude. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Video. With that, All right, uh, let's watch that. <laughs> Child murder. <laughs> uh, Chris, ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, yeah. Looks really clean. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I said on your line, dude. Got physics, which is the dope. I'm a big fan of physics. Oh, oh, that's oh, oh shit. Ball. What the hell is happening? All the so weapons. that's one of the new things about this one is that the yeah. Keyblade can change shape depending on what Keyblade you have. The Toy Story one apparently shifts into this hammer or a drill arm. Yep. Yeah, each Keyblade has multiple transformations now. It's flashy. Yeah. Square likes flashy. <laughs> is it always going to be like just like these arenas though? Probably. It always has been. Oh, good. It kind of reminds me of like Ratchet and Clank or something. Mm. Yeah, so. Not a time. Damn. Damn. Going to Sleep House, baby. Run all over fucking my house. <laughs> What is 
happening? I don't know. So this There's a lot this going on. The, uh, <laughs> the monster with the keyblade. Yeah. And it does these two claws. Is these Zerg or something? Or it to do I'm just trying to piece it together. <laughs> just have to think of a theme of where the weapon came from. Yeah. yeah. You don't have those little squeaky aliens? Ah, clown! Probably. And death yo yos. Damn, he's fucking it up. <laughs> this looks fun. Yeah, oh, cool. yeah, the other two are fun. They didn't play like this. You didn't play Kingdom Hearts 2. They oh, smoothed it out so yeah, much. They like this. Well, I didn't three years ago. Didn't have these graphics. Yeah, yeah. but didn't have these graphics Did back then. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't Tim Allen now, dude. Oh, Tom Hanks. That's a big budget. He's the one that's not alive. He's the one who died. He's in all the pixel moves. Oh, he's the max control now. Oh, that's not cool. Yeah, yeah so there's that's supposed to be like things throughout the maps that you that's can cool. do this to like interact with. Yeah. Uh, more missile, so than the last game. That's an outdated reference. Just kidding. He's having a blast. He's just smiling away. He does, he does. Yeah, he's seen some shit, alright? So you're saying it's not actually happiness, that's some kind of complex he has. Probably. At least somebody made an armored core. <laughs> Been waiting for that. Oh, the Rapunzel one. Well, I remember that from playing Kingdom Hearts, just hearing Donald in the background getting hit. Donald and Goofy? Why? <laughs> Every time I see this game, it looks better and better. So I remember when they first showed it, it was a very early concept. Damn. Damn. People were really worried about what it. I know that. Fuck. This is like the new like ability. It's like summons type things they were, the they were talking about. Yeah. yeah, the rides. I hate that it's the rides, yeah. but at the same time, I do think it's neat that it changes the combat up. Well, the so the the first video, the concept on the roller coaster that showed up when people were worried about it. Yeah. Like, that was one of the ride summons. Because... So, um, and I don't know if the original summons were going to be It's just a roller coaster oh, okay. that they're standing on while fighting. But, um, in the other Kingdom Hearts games, you actually you know, you had summons, so it'd be like you know, Bandy or um, Genie and stuff like that. And this one seems like they're going more for the ride. Uh, and rides aspect. Must be shit coming down. I don't remember what Bandy did. This bike fucking hunter comes out, shoots your ball, and then. Bambi was a healer. Critical he would run around critical and drop heals for work. Shot. Game over. <laughs> hey, Felix Jr. Yeah. Still have never seen that. It's actually really good. It's very pretty so. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't believe it. I know it is. Well, I just love Johnson that way. Yeah, so so at least they're, they're showing a summon that is a, a good character again. So. Yeah. He's making a bunch of cannons? You think Star Wars is going to be in this and it's going to be like a big reveal? That has to be something. Oh, that has to be something. Damn, that was abrupt. It was abrupt. <laughs> Alright, you guys are done. That's enough. It's enough <laughs> Disney. There has to be something Star Wars. I feel like it'd be weird like, if they didn't. Nods to it here and there, like they did with uh, all the Final Fantasy stuff. Like some of the characters were there, just kind of like little nods to them here and there. 
Dude, I'm going to be seriously Lionheart. bummed out if the fucking Final Fantasy characters aren't in the game. Mm-hmm. Like, a yeah. staple at this point is, like, you know, having some form of arena where, you know, you eventually fight Sephiroth. <laughs> you know, so I don't know. I don't know why they wouldn't have it, though. I just feel like showing it off. Yeah, so. but, they're, but if you think about, it, they haven't really good, shown though. off a whole lot yeah. in general. That could no, kind of good. Just kind of waiting. They haven't even shown like a story trailer, which is fine. I think they, mm-hmm. I'm the I'm same, fine seeing the tech stuff. So. The same. I don't even know the what are, what are the, the bad guys' names, but those old dark Heartless. guys. Same shit. So yeah. Could, yeah, doesn't seem like it's going to be too different. That's I. It's weird. I I just said that, but like I'm thinking about it now. Like it's weird they have not shown any kind of story. To that's, the game, that's okay. It's okay, but at the same time, that's that, I think it's the main reason why I I feel like the 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 it seems more like corporate and like they're just making a game because like I haven't seen like anything that's like cinematic. Well, yeah, and it, I think a big part of that too is if they show something, it's gonna be problematic because this you know obviously uh, as Probably random teach. kid decided to tell us we weren't fans of the series because we didn't know everything about it and play every single Kingdom Hearts game. Um, yeah, and playing the mobile one on flip phone that released in Japan. There there are people who have played every game and iteration and have played them enough to, that they've been able to piece together the story however it yeah. is at this point because it is super convoluted. Um, if they show anything, they're, they're essentially spoiling. They're, you know. they're gonna show a fucking story trailer though. It'd yeah. be the only game ever in existence that doesn't have one. Did GTA Five have yeah, a story trailer? Fuck yeah, it did. Yeah. I remember they were just doing tech stuff no, for some reason. They did. They definitely did. Huh. Well, they might do one. It was Probably them like all, to launch, all though. running around, flying around on that fucking on that boat, and well, I think if they do, it'll the be dog chasing it'll after. likely be closer Chips. to launch. Like so, yeah. fuck you. Yeah, which is weird because a lot of a lot of games will start out with that mm-hmm. and move over uh, to to the more like gameplay shit. Uh, yeah, overall, though, um, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, this might be the first Kingdom Hearts I actually will play and m- maybe play halfway through. Um, maybe beat if it's good enough. I have the other ones. You should play them. I tried playing the first one. I can't do it. I can't do it. I, can't. I remember me and Taylor played um, like halfway through the first one. There was like one boss, and I can't even remember what it was, but it just it, it, it pissed me off so bad that I was like, I'm done. I watched I'm not Rob this game anymore. Rob play or fight Sephiroth too, and his anger and disappointment and his inability to beat him turned me off from the game. <laughs> so I'm like the mechanics are so simple. Agree. The mechanics are so simple in this game, and Rob is having so much. It's it's causing Rob distress. In it's all, making his life worse. In all fairness, that is literally an optional fight in the game meant to be challenging. Rob acted like mm-hmm. it had to be done. <laughs> of course, he did. He's trying to be a completionist. <laughs> And I just watched Rob from the corner, scared. I was like, "Oh God, will he make it out of this alive? Is he gonna? Is this gonna How affect him?" Is Rob gonna get out of this? Dude, it was rough. I still think I, I, I think about like people are like, "Hey, you should play Kingdom Hearts." I'm like, and I just remember Rob just. <laughs> and then he fucking die. I'm like, <sighs> he always is like that, though. Fair. Hi, Rob. <laughs> um. But like I said, it looks cool. I'm I'm actually uh, uh, I'm not gonna say excited, but definitely uh, more more than interested. I mean, I, I seeing from what I see already, like I I would probably buy it. I just I I need that fucking story trailer. I need something yeah. with some cool music, yeah, yeah, with some yeah. cool events. People going no nah, fucking and then fucking you know Mickey Mouse coming honk 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 fucking come to Disneyland. Bye. <laughs> Buy corn dogs. Yeah. Buy those churros. Some <laughs> dipping dots. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Go wait in line for three hours. <laughs> Chris, thoughts? Um, it, it's it's always intriguing to me to play Kingdom Hearts games. I always enjoy them. Um, but like, sure, I wish there was more uh, Final Fantasy representation in it. Um, it, it would get me instantly like day one pre-order buy it if they included like for once a world from Final Fantasy like maybe even just like a section of Midgar since they are working on Final Fantasy 7 yeah, remake in the cool. background that would have like, kind of like, tie in that hype between the games and I think it would just it would, it would be an instant buy for me mm-hmm. but at this point I'm just kind of like yeah I'll eventually get it it seems like they're having a hard time between like doing that kind of stuff like keeping it younger for like you know 
Because, I mean, when did the original Kingdom Hearts come out? PlayStation 2. Yeah, well, say so that's a long 2000s. time ago. Yeah. yeah, so it's like maybe maybe that's what they're kind of dealing with is kind of just like the gap in the... Well, it there, took a long time there was a games. big break between two and yeah. three, so like they they really got to like relocate who who they're selling this game to. Yeah, they got to re like they got to ignite some interest mm-hmm. in people who were like fucking born yeah, around the time. Their 30s. Which Disney has, a and then the people now. Who, who did play. Yeah, and Disney's a completely different company yeah, now than it was like, like when Kingdom Hearts one and two came yeah. out. So there's a lot of a lot of really interesting. Uh, parameters to Marvel shit too that's kind of interesting well that's what yeah. I was wondering it's like I, I don't want to see Star Wars in it Chevy makes the case that like there's no reason I should even think that but I, I just I don't feel it I don't like it mm-hmm. then Marvel oddly enough I'm just like yeah whatever just do that um which they should try and yeah, keep them separate they should yeah totally. I feel like you'll probably see Spider-Man in this game Somebody. swing swing through America, Wolverine so. I think you'll see if anything the Guardians of the Galaxy I like, probably, uh, like probably, like goofy. Groot and Rocket Raccoon will be the most likely characters you'll see. Yeah, you're gonna go in a in a in a room. It's gonna be kind of like fun and delightful. You're gonna get in this elevator. It's gonna send you up and down. You'll be like, wow, it's a lot better than it used to be. And then you're gonna tell Trishel, hey, it's not even scary anymore at all. It's actually really fun. And she's not gonna believe you for like two hours. Then you're gonna finally break her down and be like, hey, we, you should you should ride this ride it's actually really fun and it's not as crazy as it used to be and she's finally gonna do it the whole time she's nervous but we finally get on that fucking ride and then we realize it's like the fucking halloween after hours crazy fucking heavy metal version and the lights go out and girls are just fucking oh my god and we start going up and down it's just like heavy metal music and, and it's the old ride again and it and we completely <laughs> lied to trishel and fucking gave her ptsd what are we talking about? Before so that was Guardians of the Galaxy was the Twilight Zone one, and yeah. I got I got totally bamboozled because I didn't know. I thought it was like a legit, even though it's a it's a giant. Building, I love it. It's fun. And it was like, and I, I was like, oh, this is gonna be like Star Tours, no big deal. And I, <laughs> Star Tours. dude, I have a picture. I still have a picture. Taylor has no, it on her fridge. Do you want to taste your stomach? Of yeah. me yeah. freaking out, <laughs> and everybody else is having a great time, and I'm like, fuck this. Like that ride scared the shit. Yeah, out I don't me. care for it. So. I don't know what you're talking about, but okay. You know the Tower of Terror, or what used to be Tower of Terror? It's a th- I, I know of it. Yeah. Now okay. it's Guardians it's of the Galaxy. A ride we go, something. and you drop, and you go, and you drop, and they do it randomly so that it's never it's the same. Now it's Guardians mm-hmm. of the Galaxy. They kind of toned it down a little bit to make it you know, more uh, accessible and you know, to more people, and the theme changes, the songs change every time you That's ride cool. it type of thing. I'm going to say, the last time I went to Disneyland, the Indiana Jones ride was brand new. Me too! It's still there, <laughs> still very popular. That's not the last it's fun. Time, but I remember that. Yeah. It's fun. I was there when that happened. Yeah, so Kingdom Hearts. Uh, there's going to be a part that's just like that. <laughs> I don't remember how we got to this point. I just remember I, that. I don't, think, I don't think they will add Marvel and... Uh, oh, yeah, that's why. Uh, <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy. That's how we got there. <laughs> Marvel and Star Wars to it, because it doesn't seem like, like you know, I, there's no Indiana Jones world. Yeah, so I, I don't think they do a lot too. of... Yeah, but Indiana Jones of, is like a weird partnership. I'll say it's owned yeah. by someone else. Yeah, it's not Disney. Lucas Films. Yeah. yeah. And it's because they're just like buddies. Like, I don't know. I just I don't think that. I don't think they'll do it because they don't incorporate a lot of their live action movies into their games. Yeah, but who's the publisher for? I'm not sure. Cause... Yeah, get rate it. What do you What do you think? Like fucking fifty percent fucking chance, six percent chance, like that Star Wars or Marvel? Uh, I'll give it fifty fifty just because it's a good cash cow for them. For both of them, mm-hmm. I think it's more likely to do Marvel. I think it's less likely to do Star Wars. Um, I. I honestly feel more inclined to think they're not going to put Star Wars in the game, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Marvel uh, is just fucking... I mean, Star Wars is killing it. Marvel's constantly killing it. But Marvel is like a fucking thing right now. Star Wars has been a thing since the 70s. So it, it makes a lot of sense if they were like, man, Infinity War did real good. Man, Black Panther did real good. Fucking throw that in there. Yeah. Because then people who are like, I really like Black Panther. I don't give a shit about fucking uh, Final Fantasy. And then they see a game with Black Panther and they're like, oh, fuck. I'm going to pick that up. Mm -hmm. Although, like, the difference there is, like, if if you showed off a video with, like, Anakin, uh, Luke, anybody, fucking Darth Vader, in that, I feel like you're going to have a different reaction. I feel like certain people are going to be like, oh, this is great. And other people are going to be like, what the fuck? 
because Star Wars is sacred, so Which people are like, every, "Don't touch it." I feel like it's everything now. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna piss off one giant crowd, as opposed to like making another for sure. You know, I just feel like there's less people who are fans of Marvel who would have a problem with seeing Marvel sure. in that game than Star Wars. Oh yeah. I mean, if Yoda was in it for split second, people are like, "What the fuck is this? Is this canon? It better not be." Yes. <laughs> uh. Anything else? Anybody want to say on Luke's Kingdom Hearts? Drinking weird alien titty milk, dude. Fucking that old blue milk from the from the blue blue titty, from the blue shores of, of blue it. blue planet. Somebody hooked up too much. He was dude, getting that. Calcium. That's why the cap the capoeira fucking tired him out. <laughs> I'll keep at that. I don't want to spoil that that shit for people. Um, and else? do a whole podcast and talk shit about that movie. <laughs> I would love to. Um, all right. So, uh, listen on the comments. What do you think about Kingdom Hearts uh, 3? Are you excited for it? Did you play the prior ones? If you played every single one of them and we have not played every single one of them, be nice about it. Let us know why you liked those games. And uh, what do you think about the likelihood of Star Wars or Marvel being in Kingdom Hearts? Uh, how do you feel about that? And uh, are you excited about what you see in the gameplay that we watched? Let us know. And the last thing I want to talk about before we close this shit show out. Um, it's, a, it's a good one. Um, we talked about on Tasty Tuesday um, that uh, there is a Monster Hunter movie uh, being worked on right now. Being worked on by Paul W.S. Anderson of Resident Evil fame. And his wife, Mila Jovovich, will be in it. She was also in Resident Evil. Um his original premise from 2012 was that he wanted a movie where a um, average uh, American teenager uh, was sucked into the monster in her world. And through s whatever circumstances, the monsters from Monster Hunter World uh, get sucked back into our world and it has to be stopped. Uh, which, you know, is... The premise of We're Back. Is, yeah, which is, you know, the, the story that we've all, you know, learned and come to love of Monster Hunter. We all think of that when we think of Monster Hunter, mm -hmm. right? Um, so, yeah, it's a $60 million budget, uh, which is pretty low for a movie that I am assuming will be very highly dependent on CGI. Um, and it's being produced by a German company, Constantine Films, which has done plenty of stuff. Uh, but, you know, is, is a smaller uh, company than others. Um, and me and Chevy were not all too impressed with, with the prospect of it. I kind of bitched about it because I, I have a thing where, about uh, video game movies and, and how they're being handled and have been handled for the last 30 years by people who don't care about them. They just want to make money. I can go into that for days. But I want to talk about, first off, I want to get uh, Chris and Cody's opinions on uh, what do you think about that premise? What do you think about the people directing and working on it? And do you think it's going to be good? Are you going to see it uh, through whatever means in the theater or fucking download it? Um, and then we'll talk about what we would like to see from a Monster Hunter movie. So uh, let's start with you, Chris. Don't do it. Uh, they are doing it. Yeah, so <laughs> so how, how do you make a movie about a video game where the main character doesn't utter a single word the entire game? Not one. Like he'll make guttural noises, and they're cussing. You know, your character will make noise, and they're attacking or being attacked. You don't talk. The characters just talk to you. You're like, see, this is this is an interesting thing, though. Like, and I I understand where you're coming from, and that's why they are making um, this artificial uh, protagonist, someone mm -hmm. that we can relate to, because we're all uh, teenagers from New York in you know 2012, getting sucked into Monster Hunter World. Um, so th that gives them a, a, a gateway to create someone who we can identify with. But if they were to make um, something actually just kind of based in that world, it, it'd be fine if they just created, like, Monster World already has characters that are pretty defined already, which I thought mm -hmm. was kind of neat. They're all, you know, you got, like, you know, the, the old, like, hunter dude and then the general guy and all that shit. And they all have characteristics. And your character visually has characteristics. But I, I, I couldn't... They could easily make a movie where you have, like, all these people working together for some kind of problem. Sure, so sure. I get what you're saying. Like, you know, you're playing as a character, but to make a story, I think you could bend that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, that, that's, that's definitely more of a nitpicky you know, thing about it. For sure, but yeah. I just, the whole concept of like sure. someone being sucked into this video game world and video game monsters are, are being sent to our world. It just, Jumanji. it reminds me of something, not Jumanji. There's, there's fucking sounds <laughs> shows that have done this before like you know like oh the digital world is like you know i think it was digimon did it i brought up and mario a lot of animes the theme oh. is traveling to another world yeah yeah 
And, well, I think it works perfectly well and fine for things of like that caliber, anime, cartoons, things like that. Live action, it's just, it's never translated well, I think. What was that movie with Adam Sandler where they're fighting Pixels. digital Def. pixels? Same movie, that, yeah. I've well, never I mean, seen it. Mortal Kombat I was actually like this as well, though. They go to OutRealm or whatever, and then at the end, he's trying to send all those guys back to Earth. And but Raiden and Earth all is them. is established in Mortal Kombat's lore. Like it's the Earth sure. realm and the you know the Nether realm. Like those are it's established sure. already. Monster Hunter doesn't have that. No, no, I'm not. I'm not comparing that aspect. I'm saying they're literally taking that exact archetype. Yeah. Hmm. That's that's that they're just like okay, let's let's. There's two worlds, and one's trying to invade the other one. And it's a very very common uh, trope and something mm. that is not. There's so many other things you could do to have that storyline, and Monster Hunter <laughs> does not in any way fucking lend itself to that. Monster no. Hunter is is a fun, uh, charming uh, representation of like a prehistoric era where uh, there's a very uh, Japanese anime like quality to the people uh, who are uh, living their everyday lives and hunting things, and then something big happens, like fucking uh, oh god, uh, Zora Magdaros. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then they're like, oh, shit, we got to stop that. And in that time, you got Palicos who are cooking food and almost falling into the fucking huh. fire. And <laughs> all these funny things, people latching on to those goddamn pterodactyls and just flying around shit. And it's, like, fun and, like, and, and like I said, charming. And the But there's still runs. some drama there. But, yeah, so there's already stuff to work with there. I mean, you, sure. could, you could put so much depth into, like, the members of the tribe and what they're working on and stuff like that and keep it light and fluffy and not, like, fucking national treasure. <laughs> I mean, they should just have Nicolas Cage play that teenager, dude. <laughs> that hairline alone. <laughs> I, I, I think they could have done without the whole like interdimensional world thing. They could have just made the movie or make the movie where it's just Monster Hunter based in that world, mm -hmm. and you can still relate to characters that have them being sucked from our world into another world. Yeah, yeah, that was so, the biggest thing. But then when I hear about Emiliovich, I'm just like, oh, if they God. if they were to just like because. These two stay alive off these movies. I mean, that's that's their whole fucking business now. But uh, if they didn't do the the teenage boy, like get sucked into wherever the hell, it would just be Miljovic being the main character. She'd be some Miug tribal person. Um, Lilu multi, multi yeah, she'd be playing fucking Lilu Dallas multipass mm -hmm. out in the I jungle. <laughs> I, yeah, I love it. Um, <laughs> And it would just be more like no one, nobody wants to see her running around the jungle fighting fucking. I mean, I, I'm kind of curious if they I, just to see I, it, but yeah, mm. I might want like to see that. I, I'm monsters? a big fan of her, but like I don't know. It's this is a, this is one of those games that's really hard to translate into movies, and I don't think it's going to do very well. Well, the big thing and something I think about often because I bitch about it too much is the 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 factors that people focus on when they try and make a video game movie the things that they always try to do the most is the visual identity so when you make mortal kombat the movie mm -hmm. you got to make sure sub-zero looks like sub-zero you got to make sure luke king looks like luke king you got to make sure at some point luke king does something that luke king does in the video game when you make doom you got to make that first person shooter fucking part because it's a first person shooter they're worried about the gameplay aspect and the visual style they're not worried as much about the story that, that matters last of us could be made into a fucking movie so easy it's stupid yeah. But but when you watch it, there'd be some part where he'd fucking make one of the fucking bombs he makes in the game. And there'd be a close-up mm -hmm. of it. So people go, oh, I played it. I played it. I saw that. They wouldn't care as much about the fucking nuance between Joel and Ellie. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't take the time and the pacing mm -hmm. that like a 10 to 20 hour experience can do. So they, they try and rush the whole fucking 20 hour story into a fucking two hour movie. It's 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 stupid. The same movie that gets brought up every time is like the best that I think I think is the best video game movie, Silent Hill. Yeah, me too. Which is just like it's not like a great movie. Yeah. Like the and and like it has like two the parts end, that are yeah, lame. like really lame. But the most for the most part, they got that shit right. Mm -hmm. Like that well, feels like, like Silent Hill. Yeah, yeah. it looks mm -hmm. like Silent I Hill. Love Silent, Silent, Hill. Like Silent Hill. Like the you know, there's so many scenes where I'm like, holy shit, that was amazing. Mm -hmm. Um, well, the, 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 and there's kind of some gameplay stuff. I mean, she's like yeah. running with you know the the flashlight. I was like, damn, that looks exactly like the game, or yeah. you know, and just um. the the thing that was cool about that movie, outside of a couple of the cheesy parts, but the, most movies have something in it. I'm like, eh. Um, like Resident Evil. I mean, that whole like movie's a fucking about that cheese game, ball like, movie. Yeah. Holy shit. That's what I'm saying, man. They're like, Resident Evil's got zombies. Okay, we're gonna make this zombie movie 
Uh, what's it about? Uh, there's a mansion, and then there's actually an underground lab that that's where they're making this T-virus thing. Okay, well, uh, we'll just make the movie. They go into that lab, and they got to escape and stop the, the virus from releasing. And uh, there'll be a part where she jumps off a wall, kicks a fucking dog and shit. And it's like, <laughs> did you play Resident Evil? We're not talking about Resident Evil anymore. You really just left that whole conversation mm-hmm. instantly. Um, you goes, have you have an idea of a movie you want to make, and you're just using Resident Evil to sell that to people. Which goes off that director, which I thought immediately when he said the director's name, I thought of Paul Thomas Anderson. Yeah, which I was like, who's an amazing director? Wow, that'd be he really should never great. touch. You're like, no, 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 no. The guy who did the Resident <laughs> Evil movies. I was like, that makes way more sense. Yeah, when I told him, Cody's like, okay. I'm like, no, 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 not him. Like instantly, I knew he yeah. was thinking of that. That's what I thought too. I was like. The guy did there will be blood. That guy's like a master director. Oh, yeah. like, this movie's gonna Why be would freaking he, drawn out as fuck. It's gonna have Daniel Day Lewis fucking yeah. in a world full of like it's monsters. Out of retirement. And it's gonna be like real and it's shit. The president. Um What yeah, so what are your thoughts? You've already said a little bit on it, but uh of it that just, premise. It it just seems like they're trying to over like it they're trying just like fucking Transformers. Uh I mean shit, I obviously I can go I mean that's you know tv show not Mm. so much video game but it's just like they're trying too much to relate to a the broader audience Mm. um to be like well there's shia labeouf and he's like a you know a teenager going through some shit and then he meets some robots blah blah Mm. blah. it's like why the fuck do we have to bring this like weird but at what chris is saying it's like it doesn't have to be that but it's like people most people are not going to get that yeah. You know, people who play Monster Hunter, who know about Monster Hunter, are going to be like, oh, okay, that makes sense. But people, they want everybody to see the movie. Yep. Same thing with, like, mm-hmm. same thing with Resident Evil. Like, a shit ton of people, I'm sure, didn't know what those movies were about. And then they just turned into this giant action, you know, that well, that's nothing the... to do with the games. They have, like, little, you know, like, they're like Easter eggs in its mm-hmm. own, you know, its own premise. The brief second you see a liquor yeah. and shit. And you're just like, Nemesis. Whoa, I, I, you're like, what yeah. the fuck? Um, Transformers is an interesting thing that you bring up because Transformers is the exact same thing. So Transformers obviously was a TV show to sell toys. It's whatever. Mm-hmm. So when people take it really serious, I'm like, I get that yeah, you're yeah. like defending the, really. your childhood love for that. But at the same time, it never really was like that serious in the first place. But they did do exactly what this guy's talking about doing, which is to have the vessel, the, the character, the person who... Uh, takes you along the journey with the things you like. So Shia LaBeouf is 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 our uh, our uh, tour guide through this world of of Transformers. Whereas they could have just made a movie about the Transformers, made it completely serious with some humor, or whatever. But like, it would have just done just as fine. I don't think you need that Shia LaBeouf fighting. There. Like, yeah. Why, the, why do well, we need Shia LaBeouf? Any movie about war is going to do well typically if it's about fucking robots like at war or whatever yeah. i mean people are still gonna watch it they have those graphics that spectacle people are gonna see that the the budget alone fucking makes people want to see it typically whereas like you know uh monster hunter you, you don't have to have mm-hmm. someone from our world to take us there like like the people who like monster hunter are already gonna fucking see it mm-hmm. the people who haven't like really gotten into monster hunter you got to make it enticing you got to make really cool scenes that people who have no idea about it are going to be curious like oh what is that movie where like uh there's like cat people and like uh you know uh, tribal people fighting these like really interesting looking monsters Mm -hmm. and these cool spectacle fights and and uh, an emphasis on the trapping aspect of it and stuff like that and and tactics the japanese people think about this too because they're like they have like themed stores and it's like a real i mean monster hunter over there is a completely different beast than it is here yeah Yeah. it's growing here for sure but yeah and it's just like like so when we take that and then kind of make it our own thing it's Mm -hmm. like that's kind of like just slapping them in the face they they did like godzilla though shit when i say they i mean like the people who were asked not like the whole country i'm not Mm -hmm. trying to be like the japanese people loved it (laughs) um but people did like uh the newer godzilla um over there as well they said he looked chunky yeah, he, 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 he's he a little husky. He's a husky dude, he, baby. He fucking wrecked though. That ending scene is so worth the entire movie. Though. Oh, dude, for sure. When that happened, I was like, oh yeah. god. Now if we get a second movie that's like a lot of this, it's completely. Fine. I don't even care that Brian Cranston died. Freaking. That movie should. That movie should have just been fucking him. That movie. The whole movie. Um, 
Yeah, so pretty much we're kind of, it seems like we're all kind of on the same yeah. page. It's, it doesn't seem like the right direction. So mm -hmm. let's talk about uh, what we would want to see. Obviously, you don't need to give me a full on cast unless you really want to. Um, <laughs> I got a couple of directors in mind, um, but uh, I kind of want to talk about like what, what, are, what are some of the important factors? Like I said before, in my opinion, I think they, they care way too much about. Uh, Oh, the Kieran Kieran outfit's got to be in this movie. Well, maybe in the second movie, maybe the third movie. Let's let's. It definitely needs to be in this movie. It doesn't need to be well, and I, I disagree in the sense of like it doesn't <laughs> all need to be in the first movie. Let's let's build the world. Let's make it interesting first. Um, uh, because I mean, Monster had to start somewhere, and now it's grown to something crazy. The movie's got to do the same fucking thing, yeah. in my opinion. Um, but uh, but people people uh watching the channel uh said something that that I I agree with, which I think is I think it'd be better if the movie was a fully CGI movie with CGI mm -hmm. characters and monsters and world. Um, I think it'd be the best route to go, the safest route to go. If you're going to do live action, you got to get a director that can think larger than life mm -hmm. and not a shitty way. Yeah. Uh, the biggest one I thought of was like Peter Jackson. I think That's Peter Jackson, exactly who I thought of. Peter Jackson could direct yeah. a monster movie. He, I mean, it'd have to be a big budget. He does a movie. He does really good with big scale. He CGI, he yeah. he can imagine and and put to film uh, larger than life stuff, fantasy stuff that no one watches and goes, "Well, this is fucking cheesy." They're like, "Wow, this is like the Minds of Moria. This is crazy." Yeah. Well, I'm actually seeing this. Or you see King Kong fighting. He already made a monster. Yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. King Kong That's fighting true. goddamn uh, those T Rexes. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like yeah. it was yeah, dope. Yeah. People watched it like, "Holy shit!" He snapped his jaw and rammed it down his throat. I forgot about that. That's um, badass. And the and the bug scene that is, is so disgusting. It's so Ew. fucking creepy and good. I mean, like he could. <laughs> if there's somebody who could do it, it'd be him. If they're gonna do live action with CGI. I think the CGI route would be the better swallow route though. Andy Circus hole. If you get that, just swallow. Just get a bug. Just swallow Andy Circus hole. I'll be like, all right, we're cool. <laughs> Andy Circus would have to be in it for sure. He should play the Palico. Um, <laughs> he would. He would. He would. Yeah, he'd do yeah, amazing job. Um, I also think someone like Steven Spielberg could do it, but I think Steven I Spielberg too, could yeah. direct anything, in my opinion. Um, mm -hmm. It's not the best, but he's he's good at everything. Ready Player One. I haven't. It's pretty good. Pretty good. I heard it was pretty good. Um, I also thought Sam Raimi would do a pretty good job, just because. Um, no. No, but I mean. The reason I'd say this, okay, I'm me. I'm mixed on this one, right? Yeah. So I think Peter Jackson's the perfect pick. I think Steven Spielberg is a really good pick because he would just do it and work. Um, he has a good uh, uh, fun factor in his movies, but also a great. He's a great visionary, uh, which is important. You don't want someone like Ridley Scott or Denny Villeneuve directing this because it'd be fucking way too serious. Yeah. Someone's child would get fucking kidnapped. Yeah. The monster in a world, and they'd have to go torture <laughs> Rathalos to get that fucking kid back. And then the kid died a long time ago, and now they just got to deal with that, um, which would be really dark. Um, but uh, Sam Raimi, the only reason I say that is because he's not afraid to have fun and commit to yeah. traditional stuff. So the original Spider-Man movies, three sucks, I get it. Um, but the first one, the second one, Green Goblin looks like fucking a goddamn comic book character in that fucking movie. Yeah. He's not, it's not like some like hybrid where he's got like military armor on that's green. Like Sam Raimi's not afraid to be like, that's Spider-Man, that's Green Goblin. That's what they <laughs> fucking look like. He flies around on a fucking, on a, on a flying saucer. Um, shooting the phone. Yeah, um, so he is a little zany and campy, but I mean, this is me just talking at this point. I know. Fucking, well, I'm just um, saying, he, I think he works best on like a smaller scale. I mean, he's yeah. I mean, obviously known for like Evil Dead, yeah, um, uh, Drag Me to Hell, yep. shit like that. Like that's where I think he works best on. I don't think like on a bigger scale. Like the Spider-Man movies are are good. Like, One and I two. Even like, I like three for for what it's worth. You but, like when when he no, I does hate, that and his I, face jiggles stupid. forward when he's freaking leaves his skull. It's fucking awful, but uh, oh, but you, I I totally agree. Like he's not afraid to like have fun. Mm. Like he's a guy that's just like if you give him a budget, he's like, well, I'm gonna make this fun for everybody. Mm. Uh, to go, I mean, it's just for just the Spider-Man movies. It's just amazing to see like a guy who made Evil Dead to see he direct Spider-Man. Anyway, fucking but, Peter Jackson directed yeah, fucking exactly. Dead Alive, Dead Alive, yeah. and then fucking directed Lord of the Rings. Yeah. So I mean, Lovely Bones and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's really good. Um. Uh, yeah, but directors. Yeah, thoughts? Fucking barely. Christopher Nolan. Um, <laughs> I, I don't think Monster Hunter. I don't think Monster Hunter lends itself to movie format. Um, 
because it is not a story driven game. So there's no story to tell. You'd have to make up something crazy to make it work just to show off the materials of the game, essentially. Um, I mean, even playing Monster Hunter herself, like you're a bunch of researchers checking out monsters. There's no end to that. It yeah. doesn't end. Just, you keep very, researching. Yeah. You mm-hmm. keep researching. You keep researching. So yeah, it's really a story arc. Um, I don't know. I think it would make a boring movie, though. It's a fun game, but I think it makes a boring movie. I don't want to watch people just like check out some monsters. The reason Jurassic Park works is because shit goes nuts. Yeah. Well, again, that's so. that's that's the gameplay, and the gameplay is the le- least of the factor that needs to be translated to the movie. I'm sure, but I'm saying there's no story to 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 go off of though. The story is literally a bunch of researchers. Well, world has a story. That's what I'm talking about. That's the story. You're a bunch of researchers. And then something going well, to that's, Zora. That's 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 the beginning of the story. Zora Magdaros is a is a major factor, and even though you beat him and you keep playing the game or whatever, in the story that is that is a defining factor of when the story we has learned a enough completion. about him and made him run away. I mean that was. But it still happened. It's still a story. Yeah, but do you want to watch that? Bottom line is that's not, that, not that specifically, but I'm arguing that it is a story and is a story that could be uh handled in movie form in two hours uh just fine there's not a lack of a story bottom line it's like uh, it's yeah, almost like they, they need to learn to like when these like to to, to quit while they're ahead it was like there's some games that should not be made into movies like super mario should never have been made into a movie obviously they, they tried i mean they're mm, obviously going to keep trying to they, do these things. they didn't try that's the problem uh, no, they, didn't. they made their own fucking thing most games, I think, are really hard to translate into movies that, because of the activity and nature of video games. Um, it's it, we've seen it over and over again. There's there, there's always that debate of which video game movie is the worst. It's yeah. which one's the best. It's always which one is the worst. Um, they're just different. That, they're different media. Yeah, I, I can't. I don't agree with that at all because the, the the problem is okay. So we have a, like thirty years of movies or video games being translated into movies. In that time, there is not the same thought process that created those movies. So to say the whole thing doesn't work, you have to go back. So in the nineties, consoles were thought of as toys. Oh, absolutely. So the right. people who are making these movies are not thinking about making fucking cinema. They're thinking about uh, products, selling products, and capitalizing off of uh, what they perceive as kids uh, enjoying yeah, yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. They want to sell the action figures, so they want something that the kids. Are, they made fucking Double Dragon, which is a stupid movie. Well, they made fucking. Excuse uh, me, princess. They made Mario, which is not a Mario movie. <laughs> it's just called Mario. So if you say it's a bad video game movie, it's not even Mario. It's just a shit movie that got fucking uh, uh, sold uh, as a Mario movie and called Mario. Um, I did. <laughs> Uh, Mortal Kombat is a fun movie, but it's a bad fucking movie. Yes, well, and that movie is to sell Mortal Kombat and sell uh, the product of Mortal Kombat. Uh, Mortal Kombat 2 is a fucking joke. Nobody <laughs> fucking likes it. This is all during that time. Then later, I, they start I trying to take it, it serious with like Tomb Raider. A little bit. But it's still... that was one, uh, Chris Stuckman talked about a little bit, a uh, YouTuber. Um, was talking about how Tomb Raider is one of the last of the like 90s and early 2000s action movies after that uh, 9-11 happened and action movies changed and it's really interesting to look into cinema they did they did uh-huh. Tomb Raider is one of the last movies that has that fun factor of just fuck shit up because you can um so that that is a defining factor too as well as like where video game movies have come from and then just now in the last like five years people are actually starting to go can you do it of course you can where it's just starting. You know how many fucking bad comic book movies exist? Oh, yeah. oh shitload. How many good comic book movies exist now? A oh, shitload. But that all just happened. Mm-hmm. Same thing with movies. Like I said, they got to stop worrying about uh, the gameplay aspect of researching. There's yeah, a story yeah. there. Fucking get some good writers to write a good fucking story. Um, not some assholes who are like, how can we translate this and sell it to people? Well, yeah, yeah. there's the monsters. Write the monsters in there. And uh, there's a bad guy. Be the bad guy. Um, Rampage. Yeah, that just came out. I mean, it's just like they completely changed the storyline. It's like everybody was freaking out about it. It's like, what, what are they turning like? They're because uh, originally it's supposed to be humans turning into animals, right? Mm. Not animals getting bigger and then yeah. doing this whole thing. But it's there's little things that people are gonna bitch about. And it's mm. like, are you serious? It's a movie about giant animals destroying yep. buildings, and you're gonna worry about the origin story of of. Yeah, well, and even Ram- Rampage is is just an excuse to make some money mm-hmm. because Rampage yeah. does not have a deep story. It is purely gameplay based as a basic story, 
and they picked it because they could fucking not have to think too hard about making that story, make something identifiable, identifiable for people who fucking remember Rampage, put the rock in it, which is going to fucking sell the movie on its yeah. own to people who don't care about Rampage, and just make a fucking fun action movie that's going to rake in money. It seems like they're Sounds like, like Monster Hunter to me. Well, it seems like they're just like uh, randomly like just that. have like the, the bingo, you know, the bingo ball there, and they're just like, all right, what movie do we want to make now? It's like Rampage. <laughs> it's like Pretty Rampage. Much. I mean, shit, I was like... 13 the first time I played well not even 13 that was way younger so probably like 9 or 10 when I played Rampage mm. I'm like holy shit like why are you just making these movies now but anyway uh, because they they hit a higher demographic too of like oh, old sure. people young people well, all that shit um, but it's crazy because like you, you can take a movie like Mass Effect Mass Effect would, or a game uh, Mass Effect would make a great fucking movie yeah. you great. don't want to make the whole fucking you probably you're not gonna fit the whole fucking story of Mass Effect into one movie. So you can make like a trilogy based off each game or whatever. You gotta take your fucking time because there's so much lore there, so much dialogue, so much character. Not the main character, he's fucking doesn't barely exist. He exists based off what you pick him to be. So they gotta come down and make a fucking interesting character. Sure. That's the writing aspect. Um, Last of Us wrote itself. It is a fucking movie. Yeah, agreed. Um, if you couldn't make a good uh, Last of Us movie, you fucked up. Because it already <laughs> is. Um, Bioshock would make an amazing okay. movie. I'm not even a big okay. fan of Bioshock. I love the way it looks, but I don't like the way it plays. Mm -hmm. yeah. But who gives a shit about the gameplay? Because it would make a fantastic fucking movie if you took your time with it. Um, Bioshock Infinite would make a fantastic movie. Mm -hmm. uh, so many of these things. Um so high 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 end storytelling and gaming is an easy one. I think Monster Hunter is about mid range to a little low, and then there's games that are just purely mm. gameplay, like Tetris. Making a Tetris game is a fucking joke. Uh, or a movie. Um <laughs> and people would do Battleship. it. People would fucking do it. Battleship. I mean, is a fucking board game. They made a movie out of it, it has nothing to do with it. Um It's 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 just it's fucking it's complicated and nuanced, man. It's sense. Like I said before, <laughs> um, it's that mentality that's still around from the fucking nineties of people who are out of touch with with why people like these games, mm -hmm. the amount of time they spend in these games, and the reason why we're able to it's just like a book invest so much fucking uh, time and love to these games is because you're living within them. You can't translate that's... that at two hours. You have to fucking condense it. You have to take a chunk of it yeah. and build that world and make people want to come back for another one. The catch twenty two with making video game movies is like you want to appease the people who play them mm -hmm. um, and know the lore about them, but you also like, like you said, want to draw people in, and it just becomes like this balancing act that just kind of yeah. makes the whole thing yeah. sour usually. The the thing that sucks about it too, and you, you're absolutely right, but the thing that sucks is fucking it hasn't successfully successfully been done yet. Right. There's there's right. ones that are that are people accept. There's plenty of them I yeah. accept, um, and then ones that people just fucking hate. And mostly that criticism comes from the people who don't know what it is are bored. They're like, what right. am I doing? I don't get this. And the people who bitch about it typically are the fans of the series. Mm -hmm. So you're not making either of them happy by doing that shit. So right. you got to fucking make, because they just want to make that money. They got you in the seat. They made their fucking money. Mm -hmm. um, I think Warcraft was probably one of the better fucking um, uh, tries at doing a video I, game I movie. Agree. I well, agree. Technically, uh, a lot of people just not here. Sure. Um, and it had problems because sure, it's hard sure. to get a movie made like that made. Uh, the production company doesn't take it serious. They're just like, get it out. Let's make this. Got Ron Perlman uh, who's like, what the fuck is a Warcraft? <laughs> <laughs> um, like, I'll do it. And that's the problem is like critics were like, I don't get what was happening. Yeah. And then people who liked Warcraft. I mean, I, 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 I saw the other day people were talking about video movies and people were like, oh, I liked Warcraft. Yeah. I kept reading that. I'm like, people liked it. Yep, mm -hmm. I liked it. And I, I, liked, I liked the fucking Silent Hill movie. It was directed yeah, by a uh, fucking, oh God, what's his name? French dude. Um, so it had like this like cinema feel to it. It actually felt like a yeah. movie. Yeah. They kept the soundtrack, which is important to me, um, mm -hmm. and the visual style. But it had like a loose uh, representative uh, story that was like the first game. A little bit of mix of the second the game, one. Pyramid Head. Yeah. Um, it just had a couple parts that, you know, were, were kind of lame to entice people who haven't played Silent Hill. We're like in the beginning when the little girl's like, Silent Hill! Mm -hmm. People haven't played it. They're going to be like, oh shit, what, what is the Silent Hill? But us who have played it are like, the fuck's she doing? Yeah. Just go there. <laughs> Get drawn in by yeah. whatever reason. Like, that's the point. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I could, I could bitch about this all day. Um, but, uh, so you feel Monster Hunter... Just, uh, just don't do it. Just, not, just don't do not it. Gonna work. 
well, this is definitely not going to work. It's the no. one they're making, 100%. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, and I'm not talking about this. I just think... In general. I think the story is uh, so almost non-existent for it, mm. for the series, not even just the particular game, for the series. There are lore bits, but there's nothing really to draw on because the reason you play a game like The Last of Us, or, uh, you know, a huge reason, I should say, not the reason, is the story. And with the new God of War, it's a huge reason for it, is the story. And mm-hmm. it, apparently, God of War 1, 2, and 3 also had story. They, obviously, they, a lot of well, the, have deep the ass crazy what they are. that they fucking... added on to it kind of like takes away from that, I think, a little Screech bit. Mythology. As for the, the, they got the tone and everything right with the new God of War. Mm. I think in Monster Hunter, you hop in there and they start talking, and you're like, yeah, I don't care. I just want to kill a monster, yeah. right? Basically. Because the story doesn't matter in that game. That's how much it matters. I, like, I, I, what, listened to them talk and I was like, yeah, that makes sense, but let you know that it's not grabbing me. It's not capping, you know, I don't care. You, yes, there's this fucking giant uh, elder dragon coming here, mm. and you're gonna go through this whole process and then it's gonna run away. And you're like, we did it, guys. <laughs> so, I don't know, I just don't think it translates well, yeah. And I, and I completely disagree just because I think it's an oversimplification, but. I mean, to each their own, obviously. That is a subjective thing of how much mm. the story mattered. It didn't matter to me a whole lot, but I think the world of Monster Hunter is something that would be really neat to explore in other mediums mm-hmm. uh, as long as you take that blank canvas and write a fucking fun story. I don't care about the specific yeah, of yeah. your... Um, sure, CG, cartoon, anime, I think it works. Because that's you, what I'm saying. A CG a movie more, is a movie. A little more uh, fanciful with it, but sure. like a live-action movie, I don't think it works. No. So. Okay. I mean, that's that's a little more acute than what you're saying before, but I'm just saying. Maybe like something as a like movie. Advent Children or something like exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah. That's, that's my fucking yeah. thing. Advent I Children mean, doesn't need to exist, yeah. and it did, and it was fucking great. Yeah, I loved it. Um, and that was the thing, too, that, that got brought up. The Resident Evil movies that are made from Capcom, they were CGI, people apparently like. Yeah. I haven't seen them. And uh, that was suggested in the comments of uh, mm-hmm. why not just do it that way? Keep it in canon. I would also like that. That's what I would prefer. Yeah. Um, it's just such a unique and interesting world that if you did get that story that was interesting enough to tell that people could watch and see that moment where someone fucking in, in like a fight like you know uses the switch axe changes it up and fucking gets that hit it'd be really cool to watch well, that's as long as the story doesn't too. suck it would be fun there's just so much to that game that it's just like how do you fit all of it into one you don't movie. you just you, well, I you know, put a little bit here like, a little bit there and keep people wanting more it's like one movie one guy's gonna use a switch axe the next movie is gonna use the freaking gun you, know, lines. you have a team of people and like one person's using uh, this yeah, one person's okay, using that, that. Yeah, yeah. they're tracking a monster they fucking run into like a Rathalos and a Rathian there's a cool fucking fight scene where you're watching these people work together think of a fucking sure. Avengers movie where you're watching everybody jumping off buildings doing fucking shit giant fun to watch and just fucking starts grabbing people and fucking hitting with them yeah just like just a ridiculous fight scene that'd be that'd be fun to watch um and getting to see you know the weapons you love used in a situation with hopefully likable characters and fun animation Mm -hmm. i mean like I, i i can't see why you would not want that i'm not saying we need it I don't think this movie needs to be made at all, but it's completely doable. The world, I love the world of Monster Hunter. Yeah. I think it's really interesting. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just, you, you gotta you gotta have a story that fucking matters. Don't just make it to make it. Don't just be like, oh, we need to make a Monster Hunter movie. You know, if you got the story, you got the story. But I think it lends itself. It's just, like Rampage, do you need it? Fuck no. Fucking pick a better movie. And yeah. don't <laughs> let goddamn Resident Evil fucking direct it. Mm-mm. With his wife. Don't let, yeah. It's like, it's like Uva Bull. If, if Uva Bull, like, oh, oh I got God. the rights to Monster. Aren't you guys excited? No. Why Has wouldn't? he made anything lately? I don't think anyone will give him money anymore. He's just done. I think I he was. Nice people are. Thank God. What was that movie he made? I think it's called Rampage. Where oh. it was a guy who just went nuts in a town and killed a bunch of people. I don't know. It's, oh it's shit! Stupid. It's on Netflix, isn't it? I think so. It's just like a dude with like guns and yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and he <laughs> like goes into a coffee shop and shoots a dude because he made a bad coffee and shit. I'm like, it isn't Postal, is what you're talking about? No, okay. he did make Postal Falling as well. Down. He made they made a Postal. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, it's got uh, uh, Hugo Stiglitz in it. it he's was... he's Postal. Far Cry? Yeah, I think he I think, that guy. <laughs> he's the only guy you can get. Hugo Stiglitz. Um. All right, so needs to be CGI or something like that. Live action not working for you, Chris. Uh, is, I, I, is there any parameters where you could watch a monster movie? 
it'd be really, really rough if it's the live action. Uh, CGI, I think, is to do CGI or animation is really the best way to go with it. Um, Definitely. But like you said, if if it did live action, have to be like a mix of live action CGI with like Percy Jackson. Yeah, yeah I can see that. Yeah. And you're kind of on the same page. Yeah, yeah. And I'm I'm there as well. I just I really think you could do it. I'm not saying you should. But you mm-hmm. could do it. But I'm 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 adamant about that when it comes to like all video games. I really fucking hate uh, how video game movies uh, have been treated. But uh, but yeah. Anything else? No. All right, that's gonna do it for this episode of uh, Taste Cast. Let me know in the comments what do you think about a Monster Hunter movie. How would you like them to do it? Uh, would you like them to not do it at all? Are you excited for this one? Um, and uh, did you like Resident Evil? I know people, I, I, a lot of people like them, like just for like dumb fun. I've never heard anyone say they're good. Uh, it's the same reason people watch Transformers or action movies. You know? I don't think I've yeah, seen the last exactly. like, three. I saw uh, one and a half. Mm. I watched half of the second one. I was like, I can't do this. Um, I think it's as far as I got to, yeah. actually. Because yeah. I'm a fan of the series. So like when I see that bastardization, I'm like, I don't even know what this is. So why am I, I this isn't good. No, well, I, I mean, I, good I did the evil. same thing with, with Transformers. I think like, I've seen like parts of all of yeah. them, but the only one I think I've watched, like I watched the first three, like the, the first one. And then whatever the one is where he's out in the force with Dinosaur swords too. Yeah, yeah. That was a good scene. That was but a cool the movie scene. was eh. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, let's know in the comments what you think about that though. And that's going to do it for this episode of tasty cast episode uh 63 uh as always thanks for watching make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this episode make sure to check out our other episodes check us out on uh tumblr twitter and facebook that's the places at tasty loot gaming check out my streams chris's streams do you stream no on twitch uh at tasty senpai all one word for me hit the notification button to know when i go live and chris is tasty underscore fruit and yeah my name's seth i'm chevy I'm Chris. I'm Cody. And uh, until next episode, which will be uh, Tuesday, uh, thanks for understanding the delay on this episode. Hopefully it was fun for you guys. And until the next episode, have a good weekend, guys, and take it easy.